first one of 2023. Now, being a new year, hopefully you've got some New Year's resolutions in place. You want to make your business more successful. You want to earn more money. You want to develop your career. And that's what we're going to talk about tonight because January is also the time where we start thinking about that tax return if you're self-employed, which means you've got to have collected all that cash from your customers. And that's what we're going to really dive into tonight. How can you ensure that you get paid and in a little while, I'm going to reveal how one of the biggest companies in the world didn't pay me once because I got their postcode wrong. So stick around for that to help us with it. We've got some visitors across the hill from Manchester. And yes, you can see they've brought the weather with them because it's normally gloriously sunny in Skipton. We've got the team from Fergus, an app that comes originally from New Zealand. But hopefully that can help you make your business more successful. And to help us with that, we've got... James and Katie, and there's a first on the channel tonight because they've been doing the challenge wall this afternoon, but they're going to see the times live tonight, and we're going to be doing it live commentary. And here they are. Katie's ready there. <laughs> James, really nervous about tonight? Not at all. I'm looking forward to seeing where we ended up on the board. Katie? I'm not as confident as James. That's what we like, yeah? <laughs> Any excuses before we start? We've got a slight wall wound, but... I want to say life-threatening injury is, is what I believe I received. So... Stick around, <laughs> develop your business, find out what happened with a life-threatening injury. It's good to be back, isn't it? We've shaken things up a little bit. Is it all right? Received from the start. Yeah, a little bit nervous on my side. Yes. Shall we go with the, the one that uh, has a sort of a, an air of something I've heard before? What's the, the new segment? We'll be quite close to the end of the show. I'll be caught off camera, okay. Gary. Where have I heard that before? Well, I don't know. I think one of the magazines has something. Does it? Okay, so we camera. caught off camera. We're also going to be doing the race wall live. Now, it doesn't mean we're going to be doing the race wall live. We're going to do the commentary live, and both guests do not know their times. And we're going to expect an accumulated time when we bring those guests to spare seats. And we've mixed it up, which means we've had to have a lot of support, doesn't it, in order to do so. And we've had that support from the great people at BG Lucico. To the Lucico Group. We've had it from Food and Palace. We've had it from Doncaster Cables, Marshall Tuflex, and I'm, I'm, I'm struggling after the, the Christmas break to come up with any more that we'd have to thank for supporting these live yeah. streams. Vargo. It would be Vargo, yeah. yes, as we've there got we there. Well done there, Gordon. And you didn't bring it up on the screen to help you either. No, no, no that's a... So we're going to just get on with it. So we're into the live stream. Thank you very much for joining us. Now we want your comments. Okay, so if you start putting these now, we'll readdress them as we go through the live stream. So what sort of comments are we looking for this time? Gordon? Yeah, so we're looking at getting paid on time. Obviously, it's a, it's a crucial thing for any business. If you don't get that right, obviously, you run out of money, you go bust. And obviously, this time of year, your tax bill's due, all those nasty things. You know, you go into January, don't you, full of positivity, but at the end of January, you know there's a bill coming. And if you haven't saved enough, uh, enough money up to do it, it can be painful. So we asked uh, the community, um, yeah, what sort of... Um, yeah, so we say, what, uh, what's the best reason you've had from a customer uh, that says uh, you're not going to get paid? Okay, so that sounds remarkably like we're looking for excuses. So in the comments, we'd like to leave you, you to leave for us the best excuse you've had for not being paid. Now, we need an example to kick everybody off. And uh, Tom Bickerton reached out to us on social media on Instagram, and he came up with the following comment, but it looks like we're on a sound issue because we need to bring in my comment, please. So should we bring it in? Gordon, keep talking. So um, have we got a sound? Uh, the comments saying we don't, but I think we did. Yeah. Okay. Uh, well, we do we don't. Yeah, well, they're listening. <laughs> we're not. Okay. So uh, do you want to try and find out what's happening with the sound? Yep. Hello. Can you hear me there, Rick? Yep. Can you hear me? Yep. Okay. So we may have a one or two sound issues. You've got the comment up on the screen now. So if you're not listening to me, hopefully you can read it. And if you're not listening to me, you won't even realise I've asked you to read it. Maybe one of you needs to step outside and. A device, perhaps take Hank out my car, take Gary's cam or something with you, and go and put me on the, you know, the code. Right, okay, so we brought that one in, <laughs> and then we bring it back out, maybe. Okay, and we come back to the main cam. So, a bit difficult if you can't pull the sound, not working. Okay, it might be a bit difficult for people to see where we are. So, hopefully, we're addressing the problem if you can't hear us at the moment. Gordon, so let's just do. Dribble on and then find out. If we get <laughs> dribble back. on. Yeah, we'll dribble on. Yeah, okay, young man. We're going to. So, we're in the position, okay, we're trying to get paid. Is there a framework that you'd like to work within, say, a couple of three different scenarios in order to find out whether we've been paid? Yeah, so the first one, 
you know, first reason, do you get paid? Is there something related to your work? Yeah. Right, okay, something related to your work. Okay, I don't, elaborate a little bit more for me. Well, customers just, you know, you, you think you've done a fantastic job, the customer's got found a reason not to pay you. So you haven't finished the job, the job's not delivered to what you'd expect, you know, or it could be yeah. something tiny, you know. They haven't got the invoice. Yeah, that, that's a good point. Yeah, I mean, yeah, we're going to address this as we go on. We've got the great people from Fergus joining us, and they're over there. How are we doing? It's all right. Okay. Yeah, so Gary, it's Gary's fault. Yes. <laughs> so, looks fully engaged to me. Check the buttons. Karen talking, Gordon. Meanwhile, when Gary saw it, now his mic. Yeah. Some of the other reasons. Yeah. So think of those. Um, you know, loads of reasons people can't get. But if you forget, you've sent the invoice. Has the customer actually received the invoice? Is always a uh, a critical one. Closely followed by you know the, the biggest one I said there in the in the entry. I was once doing one of the biggest companies in the world, which was uh, let's call them General Electric. They didn't pay an invoice because the postcode was wrong on the invoice. And obviously they didn't tell you that up front. They told you that 90 days in. Well, I don't know what Gary's doing. He's getting oh dear, put the Gary cam on there. He's getting uh, he's he's, he's getting un, he's getting undressed. Okay, so we're going to hold school with a microphone. Hopefully, you'll be able to tell us. We've got. Yeah. Okay. So it's done. Uh, right. I did say we were trying some new stuff this evening. I did say that that may create some pressure points for us. Okay. If we're at this stage, we might have cut all the front off. If you're watching it not on live, and we're going live from this point now. So we're looking at what we're we looking at now, Gordon. We're well, looking at. Have we got sound, Rick? Will now? Yeah. yeah, okay, so somebody want to check? Okay, this is not the best start I've ever had to a live stream at all, considering we spent all day looking after this one. So we've got a problem with trying to get paid, and the first thing being that we may not have instigated the payment process. Is that right, Gordon? We might have instigated the payment process. So we haven't sent our bill off. We yeah. haven't sent the invoice out. Yeah, you've sent it to the wrong place, sent it the wrong amount, all those things that people can, yeah it's a good reason not to pay you. And it's something we see, don't we? We, we? We've done a, we did a video about, will an electrician pick up their phone? You know, do you get a quote from the electrician? The first one to get the quote can be the, often the person that wins the job, but then we're terrible at obviously getting paid at the end of the job, and it could be just our fault. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And you, you suggested some other niggles that might stop us getting payment, like maybe issues with the customer. That makes logical sense. Well, the second one is obviously, so that's related to your work. Okay. But imagine you're working for a builder, and the classic one is, they're not getting paid, so you're not getting paid. Oh, you hear that a lot, don't you? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Now, it could be related to the contract you're on, but it could also be, you know, they've got problems on lots of other jobs, and they're get, not getting paid for something that's nothing to do with you. Right. Oh, yeah, you, you hear it all the time, don't you? Yeah, you, you're effectively subcontracting for the main builder, whether it be small works or large works, and obviously, therefore, there's a, there's a payment system comes through, and everybody wants to hold on to the money for the maximum amount of time, don't they, before they, they send it down the chain. That becomes an issue, yes? Somebody's the bank. Yeah, that's yeah, right. As, long, you're not, as, the as, bank. as long as you're not getting paid, you're the bank. Yes. And that's where it flows through from. And that's, uh, yeah, that's obviously... It's a, I always say it to people, you know, when you're in this process, it's the, it's the, it's the uh, squeaky wheel that gets the oil. Okay, so squeaky wheel that gets the oil. Well, you've lost me a little bit there, Gordon. So you've you sent your invoice in and you just sit back expecting it to be paid. Ah, right, okay. Yeah. Time elapse, you forget. And you forget. They just either ignore it, they forget, and you don't get paid. Okay. So. Does that come to maybe also tightening up your own personal terms and conditions and understanding the terms and conditions maybe of the, the building contract you're working for? So they might have a cut off in a month, aren't they? If you miss that cut off, could it be that you've, you've knocked yourself another 30 days on? Yeah, it's a look at the contract. Well, look at your terms. So it's either your terms. If yes. you've sent yours in last, they're your terms that people tend to stick to. So if yep. it's, a, it's a member of the public, they're not going to give you a purchase order. Okay. Yeah. yeah. A company will. Yes. You're into whose, whose terms it is. But look at those terms. And if it says they'll pay you in 60 days and you haven't been paid in 60 days, you should be on the phone. Okay. Straight away. Yeah, um, yeah, I understand. It's just so easy to miss it, though, isn't it? You know, and perhaps later on we, we can speak to uh, Ferguson, maybe they can help us about maybe reminding ourselves to send those out. We get very busy, don't we? You know, we're trying to do lots of different jobs in the electrical industry, and it may be that you're in a fun company where you know, maybe got somebody with that allocated responsibility. If you have, obviously, that's a slightly different scenario. So that's, that's perhaps scenario number two. What's number three? So number three is obviously people who habitually don't pay. 
And this is where we came in on this story, isn't it? You heard a story in Scotland, didn't you? No, yeah, I was, look, I was on one of the Facebook forums for EV chargers uh, a few few weeks ago, and there was someone, uh, yeah, I think it was just before Christmas, someone had said, I've been do has anyone been working for this company? I haven't been paid. Okay. Yeah. So and then, name, name company, I haven't been paid. So, so were they got a lot of subcontract labour? Were they, they trying to get a field? I think there's a, there's a lot of people in the market springing up who are selling services. So say EV chargers. Yeah. You know, you go on the internet, type in, and yes, and obviously they're subcontracting the installation work. And obviously the number of EV chargers going in, there's hundreds of subcontractors feeding into these people who are essentially winning sales. Yeah. Okay. But this particular company, you know, obviously once people start talking that people aren't getting paid. Someone obviously comes in with a headline, oh, do you realise this company's got 12 county court judgments against oh. them? You know, oh. the one of the people in the company is a, pre a disqualified director oh, right. from a previous company. With similar traits. Who went bust. Based yeah. on, yeah. And then you start, you Google the names, newspaper stories pop up, and you're into... Uh, oh, wow. So, okay, so if you, we're looking to solve problems, we always do it at eFix. What does that come to? How, you know, you get caught up in a moment, can you, you know, other people you know in the trade are currently working for this subcontractor. You apply the same logic. You get you know in on the same deal. How are you going to really safeguard yourself against that then? Well, it's, it's that research, isn't it? So it's, it's you know if you if you're doing a lot of business with the same company, yeah. You know what's uh, what's happening? You know what, whatever you know. Do your research. Is it worth spending ten minutes googling? Check quick check at company's house or the update with a paper. Where have the directors been before? Yeah. You know, have you suddenly won lots of business for no reason? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. For the With reason is because other people have stopped working for them. You're next in line for a bit oh. of uh, a bit of bad payment. Yeah. That is. That... Can we? Can we just do a bit of personal update here. How are we doing for the sound? Have we got any messages coming through? Yours is a bit patchy at the moment. Right. Fine, so... Does somebody want to swap me out for a different mic again? <laughs> yeah. Okay, yeah, okay, so we're going with that one. Okay, Gordon, so, yeah, pl plenty of reasons why we don't get paid. Obviously, we want to overcome those reasons in order to get paid, especially this time of the year, as you suggested at the start. It then comes down to maybe having a look at some of those excuses, doesn't it? We've had Tom's brilliant one come in earlier on. So Tom never got paid. Tom Bickerton, serial winner at eFix, never ever claimed a prize either. So we're going to give a prize away to the person that comes up with the best comment. Best comment, yeah. yeah okay, so we've got a little eFix bundle down here. It suggests that Gary's swap shop has left us in the reshuffle. So um, comments then. So we've got any anything else you want to sort of suggest on the comments? Well, let's have a look at, obviously, Pete, we, we, we work with a few electricians. We do. And we pay them. We do. Yes, we, we pay them, I think, quite well as well. Yeah, yeah. and on time. Oh, here's a mic coming in for you, Gary. Sorry, I'm going to take this one. Yeah, so take this one off me. Okay. We try again. Yeah, we work with a lot of electricians, don't we? And, and we'd like that network to continue to grow, especially in 2023. Yeah. You know, you're Colin Mulvaney, is it? Have I got his surname right? Colin yeah, so it'll, it'll appear later on in our... Uh, <laughs> what are we going to call that uh, segment? We've got Ross oh, off, off camera. And Ross is on off camera as well. So Marcus, he's, he's obviously run the system. He's efficient with his invoices. He is. Because yeah, he's he spent some time with you. Yeah. And he'll, he'll send us an email. We'll bring in, bring in that email, Rick. So we're going to spring in an email that we got sent. So this is somebody close to the team. You know, one of my really good mates has done some work for us. Yeah, and the following has come in. So we've got this email sent to us. So uh, Marcus, Marcus has sent us an email. Okay, Marcus so. Bill. There we go. Okay, so. Nice automated system. Click on the link, see the invoice. Yep. Yep. 19th of December. We're getting ready for Christmas. We're, yep. we're okay. busy. Okay, yep. yeah. When did, when did he send his original invoice in? No, this is the original. Oh, right, it's the original invoice on 19th of September. Okay. No, 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 you brought the wrong one in there, Rick. Oh, right, Rick. okay. Rick. There we go. Oh, okay. there the we original go. one. There we go. I thought it was a bit of a gate gap, date gap. Yeah. Okay, so, so this is his invoice on the 14th of December. 14th of December. Yeah, okay. There you go. Pleasant. You know, sometimes you forget. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, so... 14th of December, I think, was a Thursday. Okay, yeah, yeah, fine. December leading into Christmas. Well, I was away on the Friday. I okay. couldn't pay it on the Friday. Then I was into the weekend. You yeah. were on a cold hell in somewhere in North, North Yorkshire. Yeah. And then the next email comes in. Yeah, so this is the one. So this is the, so this is coming a few days later. We're talking five days later. Yeah. His automated system doesn't care the relationship he has with the person on the other end, does it? No, it just comes out. Okay, so it comes out, and that email suggests that um, we need a nudge. 
Yeah. It'll, it'll What's push forward. What's the nudge email look like, Rick? He's not listening there. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just have a little look. So bring the nudge <laughs> email in for us. Yeah. So it's, it's good. That, yeah, that one. Um, that one's the wrong one. So if you can bring the right one in for us. Yeah, that's the one there. Yes. Okay. Good job. It's not live. We'll, yeah, so we'll be able to edit all this out. Have you paid the invoice yet? <laughs> yeah. But let's think about that. You know, it's quite efficient, though, isn't it? He, he wants to be paid. Okay. He wants to be paid, and He's I did pay it. Yeah. Because I was like, overdue. <laughs> yeah. And if I get an invoice, I pay. But uh, that means Marcus had a note. We asked Marcus for some other examples where we, customers had given him an excuse. Yes. So, yeah, he came in with our excuses. So, we bring Marcus. He's, uh, he, he sent this through on the WhatsApp. So, if we bring that one in, we'll be able to see something that he had for a reason why he wasn't being paid. So. Yeah. I've just received your, I think that means invoice, uh, yep. thank you very much, uh, subject uh, to attempt to pay, uh, sorry, subject to fraud on my own bank account on Friday, nightmare. I have a new card added to my Apple Pay, uh, but I'm not, uh, it's not a physical card, so I attempt new payment, but there is a fear there that I won't have the CVC code on the back of the card, therefore, obviously. Please bear with me. Yeah, bear what with me? Sarah, yeah. your patience. And there you go. Then, then nice message from Mark there. Bless you there. That must be a nightmare. No worries. Let me know when you have it sorted. Okay, so that seems like he's, so when he's got a late invoice, um, sorry, you know, late payment to himself, okay, so he's effectively being the Gordon in this transaction, it, was, it wasn't a problem, was it? Yeah, yeah, a little bit of sympathy. Did we get any sympathy? He with his custody. He doesn't empathise with us. He just sends us a nasty email. Oh, right. There you go. Depends on your relationship with the customer. It certainly does. It certainly does. So when we're, we're thinking about moving ourselves through, obviously we have no idea what's happening with the, the sound and the people uh, that we've got. We'd love to say at this stage, this is where we would go to the register and we'd start pulling out those comments. I'd imagine most of the comments say we can't hear you or there is a sound issue. That wasn't going to win anyone any prizes. Okay, it hasn't won us any friends here at Lightside Studios either. So I think we just, we jump forward and we probably think about, I can hear myself now, I think um, we jump forward and have a, have a chat with our guests. We have. Do you think it might be wi worthwhile me stepping out so we can have enough mics if we're a little bit worried or should we take the hand mic again? How are we doing boys? Okay, wow, yeah, so we're all with mics, that's all good. Mm. Any other issues? Josh has not been naughty at school today, has he? I think we're all back to normal, Okay, right, okay, good. Have our guests got a set of microphones on? We'd like to introduce our guests then, wouldn't we? We would. Okay, would you like to introduce them, Gordon? Because <laughs> Gary can never remember names. No, no go on then. So, yes. so, all the way from Manchester, here we have got, are you ready? Drum roll. All right, well, <laughs> it's not Kate and James, is it? <laughs> uh, it is. It's James Chilman and Katie Hall from Fergus. Whoa, and just as you turn up, obviously the telly goes off, so it's, uh, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's this is a classic. There, there is a high possibility that we are maybe the, the, the curse here. That yeah. Is, you know, of course. I just might be off. I'd just like to say, but you I mean when it comes to jinxing and, and we're, uh, the, the, we've got an outtakes video coming on later on, we've actually created probably a 20 minute outtake video. Just <laughs> this one. That's one off. Thank you very much for coming and joining us. Okay, so um, I think we're going to just to relax you in before we really get to know the, the business of Fergus. Okay, we're going we're gonna to take a little trip down what was uh, the painful experience that you both had today on I the race. I want to see this. Yeah. But before we go, that was we need to know are we, are we dealing with electricians? Any electrical knowledge? No electrical knowledge. No. Uh, none? No, none. No, 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 no. confession perhaps no. in the past? Oh, I mean, other than, you know, drilling through the ring main. I mean, you know, that's where we'll keep it, I think. All right. Ring okay. circuit. Okay. Okay. <laughs> no, but before you read our times, I'm, now I'm not trying to bribe you both, but we do have gifts. <laughs> Not that, this, not that this changes your decision and no, you want no. to take off a couple of minutes of my time. But here you go. Some fetching little Fergus gear for you. So you're from Fergus, but Fantastic. tell us about... So you've got, well, before we've got, you've got no electrical knowledge. No electrical no knowledge. No DIY. Yeah, a bit of painting. That's about as far as I go. It's all right. It's all right. You, you did say, though, before you started, that you've got some electrical work you want to tackle at home. And I you do. thought maybe wiring that one socket out that would make you, uh, sorry, upskill yeah. you to be able to do your own work. I thought I could rewire the house. Well, just just like to say, for the record, it wasn't a Part P accredited course, and if it was, the morning session was long enough for the practical element, we didn't go on and do the theory, which would have been all uh, maybe into the early evenings. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. James, your DIY? No? Yeah, how do you learn? I like to dabble. Not but, to you know, dabble. not with electrics, obviously. <laughs> Always goes down with our viewers. Exactly. Do electrical so, so when I'm looking down here, your CV list, James, and it says um, electrician in the theatre. Yes, yes. 
Yeah. Predominantly during lighting. Is yes, that yeah, more, as I said, more, more plugging things in than, than, than wiring. So, so if we look back in the evidence of the opening statement for you, you said you had no electrical experience apart from when you called yourself an electrician in the lighting industry, maybe. In yeah, the you know, it was, you know yeah. blend of the truth. Okay. Good excuses coming in. Exactly. Already, right, so, so tell us about Fergus first, just a little bit about Fergus for people who don't know. Yeah, so Fergus is a job management software uh, over from New Zealand, uh, founded by a <clears throat> plumber, apologies. Um, yeah, I did think I'd bring a swear job, but didn't, didn't quite make it onto the, the stream. Uh, all about giving you clarity and control over your business. So helping you get paid faster, reducing the amount of admin you've got to do, and ultimately make you more profitable. Yeah, and where does the Fergus name come from? Uh, so Fergus was the uh, name of the dog uh, from our founder. We are, we are Mark II of Fergus now, but he is still frequented in the office uh, and often featured in you know, our social posts as well. So Fergus 2.0, same brand yes, and everything? Exactly, v very similar looking to the logo. We haven't had to change it, fortunately. Right, okay. Yeah. Well, there you go. I think we'll have to start naming things after my dog. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's a different story. Talking about stories, though, there will be a Tesla one later on, so make sure you stay on for that, even if you've struggled your way through the opening segment. So, so that, that's set you up. We're going we're gonna to dive into what you can offer our electrical community and how you can benefit them. But we're going to need a time, aren't we, Gordon? So this is your bit where you ask for your time. Now, is it going to be individuals? Is it going to be a multi? No, it's going to be a combined get... time. A combined time? Oh, oh okay. so yeah. for people to win, it's not going on the board, oh. but you're going on the board as your own time, oh, don't worry. Oh, I can buy it there. It's going to back up James. <laughs> well, well, but if you add, people obviously want to win a prize, and we'll send a mystery prize when we've found something. <laughs> sound. We'll yeah. 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 Sound when we've found it. Got some microphones. <laughs> we've got some, uh, that'll be the time that the people can win. So you want to be thinking we've got two, not, well, non-electricians, but someone who might have dabbled in the past. A whiff. A whiff. A whiff of having dabbled with cables. Yeah. Yeah. And Katie was claiming no knowledge whatsoever. Yeah, you've got to add those times together. Will it be fast or slow? And we don't know, do we? So. Okay, so that's good. So we're, we're, we're talking a combined number in order to win our prize, which is excellent. But we're, we're in our world of trouble because what we've done this evening so far, we have no pre rolled commentary here. We're just going to be going through as we go, yes? Yes. Okay, this should be exciting. And I think uh, it's Katie up first. Okay. Up first. Oh. The, 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 the non electrician goes first. This also. doesn't include my very severe injury that I had earlier. It is the injured, it is one of the injured runs. Oh, is it? Quickest, but yeah. you can't see the blood. No, there's no clarity. It's, I know it's after the watershed. What, yeah. Is it? <laughs> there was a lot of blood. So if we now can bring it, oh, here we go then. So we're off and running. You sped that up. No, we haven't. <laughs> <laughs> you, got, you, you were fast. You, I was you thinking, oh, it's really fast doing that. <laughs> Look at that. Right? Oh. Screwdriver. Like yeah, you don't need the screwdriver, do you? Two little screwdrivers right here. I do these. Okay, so have, have you listened to my little bit of advice? I've okay. myself through this one now. This, is this, this could be the one where she decided that your advice wasn't strong and went a okay. different direction. Even though I gave practical demonstrations of how great my advice was. Oh! It's more I look very unimpressed in the background as well. Well, right. look at this, it gets it straight off the wall. Does there we it? go. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's how we do it. Oh, I like it. So we call that the Maloney oh. round here, and uh, I'm no, going to say maybe for the record, you've got the best set of teeth of anyone who's ever taken okay. on the challenge. Okay. Whatever they've cost, it was worth it. <laughs> no turkey teeth for me. Can't be honest. Okay. Yep. Well, for a non-electrician, this looks excellent. You liked these, didn't you? Yeah, I did enjoy this actually. The concentration on my face, this isn't is it? Strong. I know, absolute game face on. Is this a worn hat I'm wearing, or is it the... Uh, yeah, yes. Oh, it was slightly warm. Yeah, it's uh, a scene on telly. Yeah. <laughs> so. I'm always representing the brand, what can I say? Oh, there's a, that was there's the, a that was the injury, yeah, got oh, the plaster yeah. on. Lucky to, lucky to kept, the, kept the limb, really. Yeah. <laughs> that is concentration. It is. Yeah. Taking it very seriously. So you should. It's got me worried now about my concentration face. <laughs> Can't wait to see it. Okay, so... Do you, do, you, do you suspect one of your runs was quicker than the other? Which one would you say? First, second or third? You see the injury, so you've got to work out what the injury the was. one, I started up faster, but it ended up getting a bit, I, the screws all got a bit slippery, the butter fingers at the end. So I reckon the third one, this might still be, might still be. The second one was a shocker. I had to stop it halfway through. Oh, I knew it was going to happen. Blood, blood socket. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so it's possibly we're we'll having another go here. What happened there? We're, we're, we're back. Oh yeah, one of them fell out. See, this is where I started to get a bit. Yeah. The techni a technical little term, little that isn't it? The, yeah. It fell out. It fell out. Oh, <laughs> well, yeah. okay. You wouldn't know, James. It's an electrician's term. Okay, remember the live commentary becomes a bit. Uh, yeah, it's quick, isn't it? 
Now, this, this, is, this, this is the what? Look at this. See? Technical Terry here. Look at how you folded that over. So, uh, yeah, strip the Stripped end. Up that wire. Yeah, this is good. Here we go. Okay. Wow, you're making it look yeah, easy. So, fly leading the back. Do you cut it again then? Have you, have you got to cut it again? I think I did, bit? but I think I struggled to get it actually staying in there before. So. Oh, okay. Fell out again. Yeah, fell out. <laughs> <laughs> Your eyes were a screwdriver. I'd imagine everything would go tight when it because they are beady eyes. <laughs> yeah, they, they right? really are. Yeah. Please tighten up, please tighten up. Okay, so there we go. Strip from ready to go. What's your feelings, Gordon? Uh, well, we're nearly at the yeah, socket up the right way. That's always a good start. <laughs> I think it's impressive. It's this is no, this part. is. It's impressive considering I think the first word you said when you saw it was, I just don't understand it. But I don't get what it is. Now I'm thinking about changing careers. There we go. Yeah. Like I said, you'd have to do the evening session for the written paper if you want oh, to okay. be a <laughs> domestic installer. So this does not offer to do this with friends and family. So wow, you, you, you wouldn't... Yeah. 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 All right, oh, they crowd are in. Well, you could, you could do it for friends and family, but you wouldn't be able to call yourself a qualified electrician, I would suggest, with the amount oh, of training no, you've no, had. Oh, no, it's going to come out. So, um, yeah. <laughs> Very little. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that, man. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, not too shabby. It's a strong performance. Yeah. Yeah. There we go. So, two screws away from completion. Did you not find the hat made you a little bit warmer than you needed to be, or was it for no, the brand? it's a bit chilly in there oh, at, at the time, so <laughs> on the big jumper on as well. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah. It's got to be oh, a fast. Oh, we're straight in. Look at that. It's like tag team. <laughs> tag team. It looks like you're trying to undo all the hard yeah. work. <laughs> oh, that's so uh, nice. Hold on. You just the reverse? To, yeah. yeah. Oh, now, one hand trying to undo them while the other mm. one's locating yourself on the screw. Gain some time. Shortly about to lose some time. <laughs> Probably when I lost the screw. Yeah, I've, uh, I've, I've seen the bits that fell on the cutting room floor coming up soon, so this is, uh, this is not good. Now, I gave you a lot of tips about making sure it's nice and straight on the end. You're straightening all the bits that aren't. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It worked, though. It's all yeah, gone wrong. Oh, I'd refuse a layer back in. Yeah. So Second time's a charm. Yeah. <laughs> really has well, all gone I'm wrong. I'm not convinced. <laughs> <laughs> maybe, maybe it was the third time. And this is remember your best time. Oh, wow. There we go. Oh, well, yeah. so, uh, All that time trying to be efficient with the screws and for nothing. To see, Kate, if your time is not considerably quicker than James's. So, I think it will actually be slower. I think it's been very well edited. No. <laughs> yeah. What, mine will be slower? <laughs> <laughs> so we've managed to get into the, um, the consumer unit. So we're into the... Uh, Ludum Palazzoli consumer unit. In order Rapid to at this point. I was in the zone. Now, now, when we watch your screwdriver, actually, that is actually speed times one as well. That is speed times one. Look how quick yeah, those hands are. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, immensely quick. All them Two card tricks as well? No, useless at card tricks. Useless at card yeah. tricks. So there we go. Have that theory out the window again. Yeah. 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 Maybe, maybe I should try. Maybe I've not tried on that. A lot of twisting going. Maybe I put a lot of effort into this. Maybe that's the. There's a lot of twisting. Yeah. Once yeah. yeah. one twist. person does it wrong, everyone joins them. Don't yeah. They? yeah. <laughs> I followed Katie. I was like, she's twisting. I'm twisting. I, I, I think I think that was a good time in this. I think you lost all your time in the in the conduit itself because that was three attempts. Everything else has looked pretty yeah. rapid. Mm. You can probably probably give me some. You know, should, should I take 20, 30 seconds off just for for goodwill? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Certainly not for these very itchy hats. <laughs> We can edit oh, that no. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Oh. I mean, in these, the people who don't like electric people. I know, this, is, this isn't. Dries your knees. This isn't my normal computer chair and you know, laptop, yeah. I'll tell you that. You can imagine catching one of your kneecaps on an inch and a half, hey? Oh, oh. That wouldn't be pleasant. A bit more twisting oh, for good luck. Twisting, yeah. a lot yeah. of twisting going on today. Yeah. And the screwdriver. Not sped up either. I know. Look, look how short the screwdriver is. I love it. <laughs> it's just... What's it going to be? That's the question. Well, yeah. Well, that's... Oh. oh. Wow, your other two efforts must have been awful. Yeah. <laughs> they were not great. <laughs> He's looking up. Looking up. <laughs> the other side. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, dude. Uh, Move on, you know, if it's not great, just carry on. That's the philosophy. You finished one of your runs and one of the cables fell out in front of your eyes as you hit the button, didn't they, to stop? I didn't, I didn't, oh, I didn't see that. Oh, no, right, no. Yeah. Yeah. No, no, no cables fell out during the, no, no. Yeah, well, you do the same trick with a screwdriver and put one in with the screwdriver and one, <laughs> one in with the hands. Oh, oh like losing time again. 
Yeah. yeah. Well, you're trying to. You've got that other screw. Yeah. Ready. yeah. Oh. oh! The pressure got to me. It was a fumble. Yeah. Well, that was wow. Fun. Yeah. Let's just yeah. Let's just hope that uh, yeah it came across as well as we thought it was. That first time, first time for you both. And see. Yeah. Yep. No, you, you it was great. You got on so other than living through it. You you suspect yours was the third run. Yes, I think so. And your three attempts in the. I think it was the third third run. Oh, you lost a lot of time on that. I would suggest yeah. that was a decent looking time that you threw away. Yeah, it was better than the others though. Still. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Well, for that. Uh, I've got the I've got the results. The here. moment of truth. So for yeah, uh, ooh, let's have a think. Uh, look oh, across you look at the board. You look this way. You look <laughs> this way, Gordon. It's on that side. Well, I'm looking across. I mean, I'm always you got to like glance to Carl. Yeah. I've got to be Carl. Yeah. And then across at the board here. Where, well, where would you like to be? I mean, seven-ish would be great, but I think. Very ambitious. All right. Yeah, you're true. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and James? I'll be happy if it starts with a six. A five would be great, but, you know, a six. Okay. I'll, I'll go home well. Talking a six, it's down there. I can't bend that far. I'm going to the best back, but there's a, a Richard Gaunt on this list, isn't there? Look how far he is down this there. This is awkward. Going down. Where, where are you, Rich? <laughs> yeah, just uh, yeah, down there somewhere. <laughs> All right, then. Who are you going to start with, Gordon? Uh, oh, we'll go with James. Oh. James first. Oh. Yeah, what's it going to be? You don't recognise anybody else on this list, do you? No. There's not a... Uh... Where's no it in there? Well, it does begin with a five. <gasps> Ooh. Very good. Ooh. And you're just below Sophie Lister and Ash Steele, oh. five minutes 13. Oh, that was a good, that was a healthy time. Could have been a four Could if we didn't mess it up. <laughs> yeah. so Could have been. Do, do you know Sophie, Rick? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Was, was it uh, and Ash? Were they in your class? We'll see where their fellow classmates was. So it's um, it's somewhere. Yeah, Richard Gorn, L played Tom. And Katie, okay, yours doesn't start with a seven. Yeah. Is it an eight? <laughs> doesn't start with a six. You are in fact right. <laughs> it, is, it is an eight, and there's going to be someone else. I was on hoping the knees it might oh, yeah. oh, oh, just... oh. <laughs> Dropping up. in at the bottom. Oh, no mark it's, it's there. Still on that side of the wall. <laughs> you're still, you're it's just strong. clinging on to this. Oh, side of the wall. that was my best attempt as well. But that was with an injury, so just. Oh, it's right by my face then. <laughs> <laughs> no, we changed camera. Oh, okay. you're okay. <laughs> <laughs> look right. at it. Look at it. Okay, so, yeah. <laughs> So that gives us an accumulated time in, is it minutes or into hours? What have we got there I've for the time? really pulled you down. We'll have to work that one out. So we're going to work that one out and <laughs> we'll leave it to the guys to find out. We'll have to conjure up the numbers there. So, yeah. Do you know someone? Do you know a uh, Thomas Kearns? Is that someone? Yeah. Your fellow Ferguser. Ah, right. There's a few Ferguses on here. Yeah. Is there, of course, there is. <laughs> so, um, have we got many on? Because obviously we had a yes, bit of a dis we have, Yeah. Got, yes, we've got. Uh, 148 people. So thank That's you very uh, much. Yeah, for, 115 for, of my family yeah. probably joining. Yeah. <laughs> Persevering with the Sarah. I've embarrassed myself. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Could be a long drive home. Yeah. Family yeah. celebration. Yeah, exactly. We'll be trotting that out all the time. Yeah. Okay. So, so let's roll into Ferguson, yeah? Ferguson. So some good ones there. So people. Um, Ferguson again. At the Ferguson. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah. no, no, no. <laughs> I didn't. <laughs> Nobody. <laughs> we're we're late here. So let's go in. It's the Scottish, it's the Scottish version. That there's someone that, so Monty's television. I'm a dinosaur and use a paper diary for job management. Is that typical? Very, very typical, yeah. I think that's probably, you know, the biggest thing we still see is pen and paper, you know, ruling the roosts. And it's trusty, isn't it? You know, people trust in their pen and paper. They know where it is in their van. And that's what they'll often turn to, yeah. Right. There's no automation in that, is there? No, not at all. You're not going to get an annoying email telling you that you've not paid your invoice. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, there's some probably room for improvement, I'd say, in that area. We like you, Monty. You're on the team. Yeah. <laughs> I'd just like to say that Monty has been a very strong uh, commenter across a number of channels that I'm aware of this year. Yeah. And I'd just like to thank him for his support, because I, I pick out his comments quite regularly on several different channels. So, oh, yeah, so we go. thank you to Monty. That's good. But how do people, I mean, so why would I want to move from a trusty diary? And Gary's a trusty diary. And earlier this week, we had a meeting. Yeah. And, and Gary's yeah. He's got, his, he's got his paperwork out. Yeah. 
I knew where everything was in there, though, didn't I? You asked me the live stream, Nate. So yeah. I found the page straight away, didn't yeah. I? Yeah, I'm in it. I am. I am the. Per I am your Monty. Exactly. I'm struggling. Yeah, so I think it's, it's very relevant, I guess, with the subject you're talking about today in terms of getting paid on time, you know, and actually ensuring people pay you. That's probably the one of the main reasons. You know, we we try and make the system really simple and easy to use. You know, reduce the amount of time it takes for you to get things like quotes and invoices out the door. That's ultimately going to end up you being paid quicker so you know you're out on the site working on the tools all day which is all good and well but the customer's not going to pay you until you send an invoice so if you're going back to your pen and paper and a week later you think oh what, what was the what were those bits that i used in that job you know how long was i there for all those things you know with a bit of software at the end of the day the, the invoice can go straight out the moment you walk out the site you know perhaps if it's got some good automation built on our cars they're going to be able to pay you super quickly using their debit card uh, and rather than having to get automated emails they're probably going to pay you there and then it's going to save you from waiting around for that to be paid yeah and you had a personal story about not being paid not getting not getting an invoice yourself for some boiler work you had done didn't you yeah yeah exactly i think um uh, unlikely to be listening but i won't name and shame them um i had a you know significant amount of work done in our house uh probably about four to five, six weeks later still no invoice sent an email to the plumber nothing had come politely through asking exactly yeah, yeah. Politely yeah. Asking to pay, it, yes. uh, hoping that he'd forgotten about it but he hadn't and it was only when i bumped him to outside a well-known supermarket with a crate of beer in his hand did he go oh and suddenly thought, I haven't sent an invoice. So, you know, it's taken him six weeks to get me the invoice. I'm a nice guy, so I was going to pay the invoice quickly, but it doesn't set a good position you know, with your customers. So the more you can do to get those invoices out quickly, it's not only going to help you get it paid quicker, but it looks good in front of your customers, and that's important as well. Yeah, and, and again, you could have now played the game in reverse. You could have said, well, I quite enjoyed not paying all this. Yeah. I probably would have paid almost instantly or maybe the next day. Yeah. Yeah, you could say, well, I've waited six weeks. I've had to pester them, and I look at the terms and conditions. Yeah. 30 more days. Exactly. You just think to yourself, hello, I'll just rock back now. He's not bothered. And if you think from a cash flow perspective, you know, he'd spent a lot of money on materials. He'd bought, you know, a cylinder and all sorts. He'd spent a lot of money, cash outlay. And that's a whole period of time that he's put out on a job he's not going to cash back in. You know, there's then a risk that, you know, I might not pay the invoice. You know, I could be a bad debtor and not pay it. But, you know, it's a lot of risk you're introducing into the business. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you from the other side. Yeah, go on. I used to have a subcontractor who we knew didn't invoice us. Yeah. yeah. Right. But we had to accrue for it in the accounts because you knew at some point there was yeah. an invoice coming yeah. in. Yeah. yeah. Right. And, and we'd be totaling eyes up the air. We'd, go, we'd have to go up and say, well, let's call him Keith, for instance. <laughs> <laughs> Keith, yes. Yeah. 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 Keith would think you're short on your invoices. Right. You know, we didn't want him to go on there because he, no. he had quite a rare type of work he used to do. And it was like, you're, you're um, yeah. You had to politely ask to pay it. Yeah, Keith, you want to just check through your paperwork because we think we're adrift by, I think you've got about £8,000 some years. Wow. And it was just, you know, which... That's actually a reflection yeah. of you and that business you're working in, actually, which is a nice reflection. That's what people want to think, first of all, how many people would be doing no, what you're doing. Yeah, but you don't, but you don't want to... You try to manage your own business yeah. cash flow yep. and even your personal, you know, your personal finances and stuff like that. And if someone's not invoiced and you're always in the back of your head, there's, a, there's an invoice coming. I don't know how much it is yep. and I don't know when it's coming. And then, yeah, it can cause, it can cause problems. And you had a really interesting story about how Ferguson, Fergus, sorry, I keep saying that now, I'm going to get it wrong in time. How Fergus came about and talking about the, the owner yeah. and how potentially he'd had some issues before with cash flow and yep. maybe businesses had failed and he restarted. And you told me an interesting one about obviously the stock on a van yep. and how that can impact a business. And this is really interesting to any electrician because we all do it, yep. we slide the door open, it's jam packed full of goodies. Yep. Is that a good idea? Uh, so Dan Pollard is our founder from New Zealand, uh, uh, plumber again, sorry, apologies. Um, but passionately believes that stock you know carried around the van is just money you're, you're giving out to someone else there's a high chance you're going to go and use it on a different job you'll forget you've used it on a job so you're not accounting for it and what that's going to do is actually just eat away at your profit for that specific job so you know thinking about what job you're going to do make when you're quoting it thinking about building that parts list out making sure you're buying the correct amount of parts and actually accounting for it all as well so when you get the invoice from the supplier you know in our system fergus we can take all those costs back to that specific job, make sure they're allocated, and then we can actually make sure every job we're doing is profitable. So, you know, we're not trying to make you go out and do 100 more jobs a year, we're trying to make you do the same amount of jobs and be more profitable by doing it. And keeping it lean, so I like that. So I want to just, just a little bit on that for, for the people that watch this, because they're, they're probably, majority of them have got that uh, vehicle, yep. okay? So you're right though, you slide open the van door and somebody will say, can you just do this? Yep. And you think, well, I've got a load of them on, you, the instant reaction, I've got a load yep. of them on my van, which have been bought at some point yep. out of your money. You, you take that and you say, it's only a 10 minute job and you just do it because it's good customer service. Yep. I don't disagree with that. 
But you're, you're, you're right, aren't you? That is, yeah. that is maybe your margin, say, 20%. Yeah. Uh, the, and you, your margin's sitting in the van and yeah. you're giving your margin away across yeah. a period of time. And, the, you know, if you get pen and paper, it's very unlikely you're going to make a note of it, remember it. How, how much did you even pay for it? You've got to go track back the original invoice back from the supplier, find it in that pile on your dashboard in the van. So it's quite hard to do. So, yeah, really running a lean stock, making sure you're only purchasing the right amount of equipment for each job. Uh, it's, you know, it's going to help you out, especially when, you know, costs are going up for items you know, in the tough times. So definitely making sure you focus on that is important. Yeah, and another one, if, if you fully loaded up your van, I see it all the time, as electricians do with all those goodies, you know, tons of everything, that's a ton more weight that you're dra dragging around the yeah. UK, which is using fuel or energy in your yeah. battery. If you've gone to a battery van, you'll want to lighten it off. Um, yeah, you, yeah, you're just, again, giving away more money without realising it. Yeah, definitely. And you're, you're leaving money in the van. You know, that's the, the key thing. You, you've given your money to a wholesaler and it's just sat in your van. It's, it's not earning you anything. So. So a fully employed system then through Fergus then could mean that I've, I've got pretty much hand tools and a few sundry items on the yep. back of my vehicle because I'm going to streamline that process in order to order the materials. Yep. Just talk me through that. Yeah, so right at the beginning when you're, you're making a quote out, you're using a price list from a, a wholesale supplier. You can create the price list yourself or you can take one from you know, one, of the, one of the many suppliers out there um, and pick off some of the items you need. And then when the customer accepts that quote, you can send a purchase order straight off to the wholesale supplier, um, tell them where you want it to be shipped. You know, do you want to send it to your office? Do you want it sent to the customer site direct? And then when you send that engineer out on the job, which, you know, Fergus, you've scheduled the job out for you, they arrive there, they've got exactly the right equipment on them. You know, they're using our app as well, which has got all the details. It tells them, you know, where the door code is, what they need to do, where the yapping little dog is in the corner, exactly all those things to avoid. So it's going to make their life a lot easier when they arrive on site as well. Have you got any practical examples of this? No, but I'm thinking if I'm searching, can I do this? You know, a lot of the time you're trying to price a job up, you're flipping between systems. Yep. So can I price everything in further? So exactly, yeah. Nip off to the wholesaler's website and drag it. No, exactly. So you, you can take a, a, a price list from that wholesaler, multiple wholesalers. You start to type in the item, it'll search the catalog and go, yeah, hey, there's that um, that socket you need or the, so that it's specific start cable. Do it, exactly. Complete the sentence or the phrase. Yeah, for exactly. It. It's going to bring up several, you'll see the price. Then you can put your standard mark up in there as well. So, you know, the system's automatically going to go, that's the price you should be selling it to a customer at. So you drop it in at a cost yep. and it'll automatically mark exactly, it Exactly, yeah. You can set a default markup. It's all in there straight in the quote. Okay. That, and that comes back to what we suggested about leaving, say, the 20% yeah, markup on exactly. the van. You're actually giving that away over a period of time. Yeah, exactly. I complete the job. I'm in a lovely position. The job is yep. completed, okay? And we've just discussed, I mean, that invoice is that tricky bit. The bit we really want is getting paid, isn't it? We all love doing work. That's the problem with electricians. Often, don't they say, I love doing my job? Yep. Effectively, though, you really need to be paid. Yeah. Could I have sent an invoice out before I'd left the job? Yeah, exactly. So you can send the invoice out straight from the web app, you know, straight from the mobile app. The important thing as well is to make sure the customer's happy, you know, get them to sign off the work, get them to say, hey, look, I've finished this work. You know, we can sign off it straight in the app and say, you know, Joe Bloggs is ha happy with this work. Great. I'm sending you your invoice now. So, and that comes back to your problem. The, the first one we said was there might be an issue with what, what's been done on exactly. site, whether it just be something simple like decorations been damaged, maybe you know yeah. you left a bundle of conduit in a corner of a building or whatever. You're yeah. saying that you can almost get validation before yeah. leaving. Exactly, so straight in the app, the customer can sign it off and say, I'm ready to receive the invoice. The system sends it directly. Uh, we've got something called Fergus Pay, which is gonna send them a link so they can pay directly via their debit card, straight you know straight into your bank account. And nice when, and you, when I do get paid when there is an action on the app, yeah. How obvious is it to me? Yeah, so we've, we've got a dashboard which is completely color coded. Um, there's some also some great notifications throughout the app which are going to bark at you every now and then. Sorry, sorry, say that again. <laughs> yeah, there's, a, there's an occasional bark from the app that may come through. So yeah, yeah, you will get a bark to let you know when things are going good. But definitely, dashboard in the app is, you know, green is great. You don't need to worry about that job. Orange, I maybe need to have to take a quick look at it. But red is the kind of thing, that's where I need to focus my attention. And you've kept that simple because of the type of people using it. Us yeah. trade folk, we want, we want the easiest possible. Yeah. And, you know, you've mentioned the word plumber, so I think it's only right at this time I bring it back in. So if you were suggesting uh, who are better at maybe working their way through the software across the, <laughs> the history of Fergus, uh, would you a loaded, say... A loaded question. Would you say it's the plumbers? Or would you say it's the electricians that are better at using the app and understanding it? So I'll just say that again. The 
plumbers yep. or the electricians. <laughs> so, so definitely, and I'll caveat this, in the UK, we definitely see that the electricians are, you know, certainly a lot more switched on when it comes to their pay. Oh, for work. Oh, there it is. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh them plumbers are drips, yeah, are they? Exactly. Yeah. 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 We've got leaky businesses all over the shop. Oh, dear. This, is this that the, that's the end of the <laughs> <laughs> Oh, dear. Oh, before we flush this relationship away then, so we, we, we've, we've sent that invoice in. Yep. Anything else after that? Is there any, anything else that it will do for me? Yes. Yeah, so, so, I mean, the system can build in forms straight into the software. So you can use some of our default forms, items like health and safety. You can go out and build your own custom forms uh, and customers risk can sign. Yeah, exactly. Risk assessments. Yeah. So can you put your own form, if you're building a form, can you drop that onto your own website? Uh, not, not in terms of a website, no, but more in terms of customer interaction when you're on site with a customer. Right, so you, that checklist. Yeah, exactly, van checklist you can put in there, everything, you know, in terms of yeah. from your, operating your business. Yeah, there's a question in there. Does it link into accountant software? That's yeah, exactly, it does. So we integrate with Xero and QuickBooks in the UK. Um, so real-time integration, as soon as an invoice is created in Fergus, it's going to be sent straight away to Xero. Uh, as soon as it's marked paid, it'll appear in zero, all reconciled and ready for you. Right. Yeah. Oh, there you go. There we go. <laughs> Great question. <laughs> yeah. I don't think that's my dad, by the way. Just no, 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 no. <laughs> yeah, just 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 for just for clarity there. Well, these are regular, these yeah. are regular ones. So. Yeah, exactly. So And again, it's 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 a valid thing, isn't it? Yeah, so it's price per user per month. There's no commitment in terms in terms, you know, we're gonna tie people in. Uh, starts £20 a month per user, goes up to the full version, which is £30 a month. Um, we've got timesheet users for people that don't log in as much. Um, and yeah, rolling contracts, so jump in with us, you know, we help get you get on board, you know, we'll hold your hand through that process. You know, we're talking about gross margins, profit, etc. It's a it's a deep subject. We do lots of drop-in sessions which people can jump into and learn more about that. Um, and ultimately we'll make sure you get the most out of the software. No, that sounds, I mean, but it's, it, there's a leap of faith for some people in here because I think you've, you've, you've almost convinced, uh, I'm looking at Monty here, <laughs> yeah. he's like a refresh and change from those much, uh, he's suggesting there's another platform out there in the country. He's, he's, I don't know what he's bit. talking about. Oh. <laughs> oh, yeah. I think it goes back to, to, to the email earlier, actually, you know, software is great, but it comes down, you do have to sort of, a bit of a mindset change, you've got to make sure it's set up correctly, otherwise you're, you're going to be sending, you know, unpersonalised emails out to your customers, so we've got a team here in the UK that help you get set up, make sure the software's suitable for your business, it's got the right emails that are going to go out at the right frequency, so, yeah. you know, definitely make sure it's, you know, you're not just using it out of the box. I mean, I'm a bit, you know, I'm just thinking around here in this territory here, I'd be a bit nervous walking into our wholesale and saying, can you give me a price book? I'm going to import it into my software. How do the wholesalers take that? It's like, hold on, what's up? There's a rabbit away here. Yeah, it's a great question. And the answer varies massively depending on which wholesaler you speak to. Yeah. Um, for example, uh, CEF uh, can produce one. They can get you one. It's not sometimes the easiest process for them. Uh, we've actually been talking to one just down the road here in Yorkshire. Uh, they've got two stores, you know, not the biggest wholesaler, uh, and they can do it quite easily from their software. So it generally, what we see is the ability to do it exists. Perhaps maybe the retail front of the store don't know how to do it, um, but we're always willing to work with people. So if someone fires us an email and says, hey, how do I get a price? But from such and such, leave it with us and we'll try and find a way in. All right. Mm. So, I'm, 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 this is where I'll get a slap on the wrist for saying something wrong here. <laughs> yeah. we, we had Rewired Agency in, didn't we? We absolutely loved them, didn't we? We loved Dan from there. And he talked about using people's own software package, and he mentioned Fergus, didn't he, in there? He said that they, they answer the calls but work within this software package. So you combine the two, uh, other than installing the electrical system, there's nothing else to do, is there? Yeah, was it? I think he's one of his ones, you know, nobody gets up in the morning and think, great, I'm looking forward to those emails. Yeah. <laughs> let's get, let's yeah. bring on the emails, put the screwdriver down, I'm going to get stuck in. Yeah. yeah. And oh, there's one that, yeah, VAT returns. Yeah. That'll be, I would assume through your accountancy software. It, exactly. We're not accountancy software. <laughs> We're not trying to be accountants or accountancy software. So that's why we integrate with Xero and QuickBooks. Yeah. That is still where your, you know, your accountant will live effectively. They'll manage your returns in there, but it's not something we do natively in the software. Okay, that's it. yeah, it's really good. So, how do how do you make your way into the business then? Because you only been with them six uh, six or seven weeks, is it? Yeah, hey? yeah, six seven weeks. So, um, yeah, it was quite new to me, kind of coming into the trades industry. But I'm originally from uh, an education background before going into marketing, and really, what I wanted to bring to Fergus was that education element to it. So, I think something that really sets us apart in the market compared to um, some other uh, companies is the fact that, that we do offer these additional free to access 
workshops online, so things covering things like growing your profit margin, how to set an hourly rate, and it's taken into those, um, or it's taken into account with those things like when you're choosing how obviously you know how much you want to charge per hour, what is your charging time, and then what is the uncharged time that you have, what is the profit margin you're putting on those tools, and then like James said before, taking into account. You know, a wholesaler may say, you know, let's say you need 20 light bulbs. As, as you may I don't know. <laughs> but maybe your wholesaler has, you know, a big discount if you're buying 50. But at the end of the day, you're, you're pricing up your job and you're going, well, it means it's only, you know, X amount instead of, instead of this price for each light bulb. But what are you actually doing with those 30 light bulbs? You know, are they going into other jobs as well? So it's just really helping you to understand how to break down each job and how we can help you, you know, to, to kind of really get on top of your business, get on top of your admin. And we want to help you grow. You know, we want to help you to whatever you want yeah. to get out of your business. We want to be able to help you to do that, whether that's kind of, you know, having family time, having a bit more money, yeah. something like that. And did you mention the word free there? That's part of the package. So once I've signed up for free, package, yeah, free access, free it's not access. a bolt on. No. It, it's part of the same package. Yeah, we exactly. Just, yeah, you don't even need to be a, a Fergus customer to access our oh, webinar. We want to be able to provide it to anybody who's interested because it's a service that we offer. Wow. Yeah. Educational aspect. And, and we've got a lot of great free content already on our website. So we've got something called the Trade Hub, which you know has some Fergus specific things in there, but there's also some great business coaching webinars from our founder Dan in there, <laughs> um, which you can join in and learn all about, you know, over buying and overstocking your van as well. Yeah, which which was you know key to him, wasn't it? So yeah. that was almost the heart of why this came off because he had a couple of cracks of being a plumber, didn't he? Yeah, so he went through a, a few iterations of his business. The first time crashed out with you know cash flow issues, which I think is pretty relevant these days. And actually, the second time was a mental burnout, you know, which is probably something which is you know started to be talked about more, but maybe not talked about enough. That the admin sort of burden of you know, going home, you've been on the tools all day, you're sitting down, what's the last thing you really want to be doing? And um, I was mentioning earlier, you know, we see a huge interaction from people overnight, sort of into strange hours in the morning, you know, either signing up for a trial of our software or sending out invoices. Wow. And really, you know, it's not a good position to be in. So we're trying to help people to get that back under control and, you know, maybe go to the pub a bit earlier on a Friday afternoon or enjoy their, you know, weekend with the kids. That's, that's quite sobering that moment. Yeah, I haven't even thought of that, the, the stress that can cause you yeah. when obviously you've got the working stress, but then we've got the stress of actually not being paid. Yeah, that's the, the financial stress. Yeah. That's keeps up, isn't it? There's, yeah. always that, there's always that worry, yeah. isn't there? Yeah. And this when business is going, when you when you owe more, when you when you've got uh, you know more money going out than's coming yeah. in, yeah. that stress doesn't go away. And it's, um, <laughs> Again, I'm not. There's nothing in it for me here, so this is not a sales pitch from Gaz. So you can have another that, hat. That, but yeah. that 30, 30 quid now doesn't seem too bad, does it? If it can take, if yeah. it can take some of that laying awake at night, or yeah. I can't remember which invoice I've done. I must get up early because I haven't sent something yeah. off. If some of that can be taken away, I'm sure anyone would say if they could step out of themselves and look in, yeah. you're telling me for 30 quid a month I could yeah. remove this from me. Exactly. That's probably the moment, isn't it? Yeah, and I think if you look at it on a job basis as well, sort of the number of jobs you're doing each month, sort of allocate the cost to, you know, across each job, you, you're probably spending more on a coffee each time you, you know, drive through the Starbucks drive through in the morning. Yeah. Other coffees are available. No, 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 they're not. Starbucks <laughs> is by far the best, so we'll go with that one. We don't, no, you don't like it. You're a local man, though, ain't you? You'll have something Sporty just... local coffee shop. Costa. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> No, 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 no. Definitely not Costa. Okay. But again, that's, we, we, we've laughed out of a serious point there for me. That's the one. Yeah. And it, that, yeah, the laying awake at night for 30 quid. Yeah, exactly. If you're worrying about thousands, yeah. don't worry about 30. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And it's, it's no commitment as well. You know, we're not tying people in for years saying, come and stick with us, you know, we'll, we'll take your life. It's no commitment, 30 days rolling notice. And if you sign up in the next seven days using the eFix 50% discount code, <laughs> in the description, you too can save yourself time and money, energy, and all the rest of it. Yeah. yeah. Okay. But I think actually, you have to look at all of your systems. Yeah. Because what will tend to happen, the person who's probably still using the old paper diary, yeah. probably taking a, you know, a carrier, carrier bag full of receipts to the accountant to do the VAT yeah, return. Yeah, exactly. And then, you know, the bank doesn't talk to the accountant yeah. software, so the, you're probably paying more for your accountancy, Yeah. because somebody's got to yeah. work out those numbers. Exactly. Yeah. And, and account was quite, but now software's so open, isn't it? Because we use all these apps, we use, a, we use Thai Bank, because that's quite open yeah. and mm. easy. <laughs> where if you go back to your old high street branch, yeah. it can be a little bit of a challenge. And then, yeah, your accountancy software, plugging into the bank, yeah. plugging into your software, it's sort of, yeah. yeah. I think- uh, It's the future. I think, yeah, if, you, if you're, you're probably, 
overpaying your accountant. Yes. Say, well, that's where the £30 a month yeah, comes yeah. from. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, you do also get a 14 day free trial with Fergus. Yep. And so, you know, we've already talked about the support that we offer, you know, aside from the business support through the online workshops, we also have fantastic account managers. So if you were to sign up to a free trial of it, as I say, you've got 14 days. You'll have one of our account managers actually get in touch with you to see, you know, they want to know about you and about your business and really how they can help you, you know, what exactly do you need to get out of using this software? You know, as I say, you've got the 14 days and if you, it's not for you, you know, you've no credit card to sign up anyway, so there's no commitment. And you know, like you said, for 30 pounds a month, if you think it's right for you afterwards, you might be making even more 30 pounds a month by keeping on top of your invoices, you never know. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, it, it, it's just a great way to, you know, we, we'll, we'll provide that consistent support as well to any businesses. So yeah. as I say, understanding the individuals and what their goals are and helping them to get there. Yeah, yeah. Well, well, if you're not sold on that, you never will be. <laughs> Just a reminder, the 14-day free trial, if you sign up with the eFix 50% discount code, <laughs> link in your description, you get 50% off that 14-day free trial. Yeah. Okay, which is, which, is, which is good. Yeah, so again, it's like anything, isn't it? You, you, you know, we took a leap of faith from using maybe uh, yeah. electric drill to a battery one and thought yeah. it was amazing when we got there and we never picked up the... I can't yeah. believe I used to use that. It's something like that. And I've yeah. got a diary and a pen yeah. and paper. It's safe. Yeah. Maybe it's time to, to yeah. streamline the business. Yeah, exactly. And, and you said about helping it because you're based in also Australia and New Zealand. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Doesn't that mean your uh, call center yeah. hours are like, amazing? <laughs> yeah, aren't they? exactly. I mean, we'd, we'd really like you to probably not be in a position where you need to contact us at ten or eleven o'clock at night. But you know, we're based in Australia and New Zealand, so the moment we stop working, you know, within an hour or so, the New Zealand team are online. So we're there to help you all the way through to probably you know four or five in the morning if you re really so need it. Yeah, that is yeah. That's a that's a nice little win without winning, isn't it? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> so you've got the business things. We've put a link in the description for yep. your, your uh, what you call them, business. Fergus shorts. Sure. Online yeah, exactly. Right. Whatever you want to call. Do you have them. to be a subscriber to join? No, no, not at all. Do you not know? All right. you need to do. I said that earlier, by the way. Oh, you did. Wasn't listening. Oh yeah. All you need to do is click on yeah. the link and uh, you have a look at which webinar you'd like to take part in. You can. Take part in all three if you'd like. We've got three up at the moment. Only 30 minutes because we know how precious time is yep. as well to people. But all you need to do is fill in the form on that page. Say which one that you want to go to and you'll be booked in. So, so are they on time. demand? Are they timed? They will be. Uh, the, later on they will be on demand, but yep. we'll have them obviously on a certain date as well. Yeah. So we'll be able okay. to find the dates when you go. Do some nice Q&A, you can come and ask some questions and Late grill us. Day or early in the day? Well, well the multiple times, so you can either come choose during the daytime, you know, perhaps if that suits you better. You know, we said no speak to some people and the morning works for them. Uh, and other people want to do it in the evening, so we'll, yeah. we'll try and mix and match between the two. input from Paul Elcock, he's saying, uh, I think it's probably the mic, your mic's tucked in there. Yeah. Oh. Uh, okay. How much did you miss? Yeah. 14 no. day free trial, don't forget. <laughs> 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 the discount code from me, the description. Um, yeah, okay. But yeah, because Paul Paul Elcock, who knows he he sells he's linked to certification bodies. He's seen most uh, online certificates are filled in between seven and ten yep. p.m. at night. So, yep. mm. Yeah. Is there any plans to link the cert 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 certification? Yeah, d definitely. So I think you know we go back. To one of our real aims is to make your life better. You know, how do we make a, a tradesperson's life better? Um, building an online form is probably not the answer to that. So we're certainly looking at ways we can integrate with some of the more common certification suites. You know, let's let's work with the guys that really know how to do electric certifications, uh, and we'll find some avenues to make that work. Fergus didn't set out, did they, to, to produce? No, in, the, in the same way we're not. Against, same uh, way we're not accountants. We're not going to do your VAT return. It's not our area of speciality. So are you sort of not telling? me that you're in the process of working with someone to do that are you i, I couldn't reveal that at this stage that, okay, that would be you know yeah okay so that's probably yeah. coming along the line yeah brilliant that makes sense so, so again we've so, settled everything into one position then yeah as we grow it and move forward yeah think. exactly i've got any great questions coming in that's the next thing um, got, i mean uh, people asking about support for colleges is there any because obviously when you go to college you don't want anything to do with Business. Yeah. Business at all. So, so I think that the free the free sessions are there obviously for anyone to attend. Um, even and at college, yeah. Yeah. So anyone can join in. If even if you're a um, DIY, you know, feel free to join in if you want to learn about business. Uh, what I will say is, if you are, a, you know, perhaps an apprentice or you know, starting out in the industry, just just stay tuned. We've already got some news coming, you know, in a couple of months, uh, which will be of interest. So come along to one of the sessions, and I'm sure we'll keep you posted on some some good things that are coming. Very exciting. Okay, but when you know, so if there's something good and exciting coming, those people haven't got a lot of. Money 
only I would suggest those yeah. people. <laughs> Perhaps you're, you're, you're on the right track. You know, you we're, <laughs> we're only an hour down the road, so I'm sure we'll pop up and tell you all about it when it's ready. Yes, Fantastic. we'd love to come back. Thanks for the offer. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 But, but I, I, I'm doing the Fix College Connections. Yeah. Okay, so again, when when something for those does come off, it yeah. might be worth you getting some sort of involvement definitely. in yeah, that. Definitely. So we can get it out yeah, to the, sounds the, good. the good folks. And with that in mind, we are live streaming tonight and we've had one or two issues. No doubt me and Marcus will have a load of issues when we go to St Albans <laughs> on Monday. We'll be there at 12.30. So if you've got some time during your lunch break and you want to join us, we would love that. And that's on Monday, so that's mm. all good. So we've got any great ones? Have we got I any know, funny we've ones? We've got to cut around a sneak peek now. Yeah. Right, mm. We're not going to do any funny quotes. We're going straight to the sneak I'm peek. Gonna, we'll chase some funny quotes. Up the okay, so this is... Through. We've got a lot of comments to so, get back So through. sneak peeks used to be, I'd jump up now and you'd show me something from Amazon that's got uh, a recall <laughs> against it. So it has uh, Yes, it has. Shall we have a quick, uh, okay. quick sneak peek? This is how we used to do them. So, Gordon, what have we got there? This was some tops I bought from Amazon. <laughs> okay. Before Christmas. I thought it was a little bit dangerous, and it's now the subject of a... Uh, of the uh, trade and standards recall. But the plug itself doesn't look very big. Yeah, and it doesn't have a fuse in it. Okay, so that's been recalled. That's been recalled. Okay, so that's how we used to do sneak peeks, but things are different now and we like to get exciting. So uh, shall we cut to our sneak peek? That's it all. Well, we've just popped quickly across to the workshop. We we're going to do a sneak peek, but it's not actually a sneak peek because this product's already been released and we all did a great review video on it, the Evolve range, Gary. Yeah, so it's a peak sneak then if we're reversing the process and I'll leave a link in the description for the full video but the first thing I say when I think about electrical accessories I'm going to put it out there on the table straight away is those caps that go over the screw it causes massive grief especially on Instagram. Well I think customers love them yeah, it hides the screw electricians not so keen because they can be a challenge to get out unless you've seen our blue tack short but this is a sort of I guess there's a halfway house it's flat plate and I have mixed opinions on flat plate sometimes because the ones that are completely flush to the wall, you need a massive back box. You do, yes. Yeah. And you don't often you still end up with the screws. Yes, you do. Yeah, you're right there. I didn't think of that. Yes, you often see those screws. No caps on those styles, I mean, especially when you're thinking of the styles we've got in front of us here, mm. because it's about that wonderful finish on these and the hidden screws. So do you want to take one yeah, apart I'll for take us? Take one apart. So you've got the yeah, so it looks like a normal wiring accessory, but if you just prise the front off there, the front cover comes off and you've got the screws that we love behind it. But it's just this front cover look and feel. Now I know people are going to say, "Well, that's new; you can get it." But this, it does have a different feel to it, doesn't it? It's like you, you pop down the wholesalers, and at the minute, all wiring accessories look a little bit similar. Yeah, a bit like uh, I don't know, vanilla ice cream. That's maybe it's white ice cream when you're a little bit smaller and younger. Yeah. So this, I just think, is a new. It's a new trend, should we say? And thinking of trends, I'm always worried about the trend changing or maybe the wife changes her mind. I know in your house, Gordon, often Mrs. R will suggest one thing and quickly suggest something different. And what's great about these for two ways round is obviously by having to take those off, it means when you're decorating, you can paint around them and not worry about uh, the finish on them getting covered in whatever magnolia you're going for this time, perhaps a hint of camel's breath or something elephant's, like that. Elephant's nose or something like that at the minute. Um, yeah, you're right. So you, 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 this stays... Yeah, you can leave this fixed to the wall. Absolutely, yeah. You don't have to do what the, the, the decorator does. Sorry, Richard Brook, you're not going to sell those socket shafty seals. You can leave this on the wall. They can be a little bit lax and perhaps get a little bit of paint on the on the back. Not suggesting it's a good idea doing that, especially not over the switch or the USB socket on this one. But then when you finish, you can clip the cover you had on. Yep. Or if you want, possibly a different one from the uh, from the range. Yeah, so we've got a copper looking one here. Be very careful with that one. But yeah, that's very much on trend, isn't it? If you want to absolutely stay up with stuff, you might be doing copper accessories. But we're now quickly at changing and going to another area. Maybe it's you know the jet blacks, the greys of this world. And you have the flexibility, therefore, to change them as well, which mm. I love about this range. Yeah. And BG, it's an immense range. We've got everything. We've got a nice little uh, dimmer switch here. Just different ones, not the old twiddly knob. It's the uh, it's a sort of yeah, it's a quite a tactile switch. We've got the uh, Wi-Fi extender. Yeah, we like this we like. one, don't we? Yeah. So when we're talking about that Wi-Fi, we've done a video on it. I'm sure you'll leave a link for that one in the description. I've just done you there again. So when we're trying to take that Wi-Fi maybe out into the garden, not this time of year, but we've got the ability to send that signal on, but you would think that would be probably something that's difficult to match other accessories if you've gone for that high-end look, isn't it? Yeah, that's it. And again, high-power USB sockets, again. <laughs> Electricians, you know, have mixed opinions about if customers love them, and and BG have got one of the highest powered ones in the market. This will charge up to 30 watts of uh, USB through that uh, through those various protocols kicking out. Then we've got a combination at both worlds on here of the traditional USB, but the the USB C 
but everything is heading in that direction. Yeah, and we're going that way, and it's yeah. that, again, I like the words halfway house. As you're transitioning across from the A to the C, that outlet's got you covered. Yeah, and big, big switches for all the people who, who need help flying the, uh, the switch. I'll always pull on your heartstrings for this one. I do love a larger rocker switch, don't I, in our house? My daughter's got one in her bedroom, because obviously when she's opened it with the only hand she's got, she's always got the elbow in order to put it on, and she's found a large rocker really helpful. Yeah, and that's good. So, yeah, immense range. We've got there's some key switches I've seen in the range. We've got a single USB socket, which you yep. don't see a lot of. No, um, but with two outlets on it. With two outlets. Yeah, that's good. So that's good. I think it's a great range. Check out the view. Loads of finishes. You say dive into the full review and you'll see some more of them. But the good thing about this is now, this is the, uh, the peak sneak, you call it? <laughs> yeah, but it's going to have to be. Because it is now in stock. You know, it was it was a popular review. People want to get their hands on it. You now actually can get your hands on them. Yeah. Okay, that was a little bit different. We think we've, we've solved our issues, and that means we, we can go and chat to them and find out about the register and the issue that we just had. So we've come over here to our lovely technical team that have been rushing around like, um, Rick, please stand up and uh, let's see your face <laughs> that looks red. What happened, Rick? There might have been an aerial that didn't get put in. One or two. <laughs> Two. two. Two aerials, okay. <laughs> so we didn't have two aerials, but thank you ever so much for people who persevered us, people who have left a comment. It's time now for the register. Thank you, gentlemen. It is that time, and um, hopefully starting the years we don't mean to go on with the sound issues, so time will tell. Um, right, let's get straight to it. So we've got returning members first. So Stokey Sparky, retired dad, Nicholas Ramo, Jamie Blatington, the information torpedo, Daddy B, Sam McLachlan, um, Oliver Dawson, Seven Up Sam, Andrew Brown, Ingtech, TMIET, Duncan Rolf, Terry Moore, Fuse Electrical Services, Early Years Learning is Fun, Richard Cockerline, Short Circuit, DAE, PDKH, X Forces Electrician, <laughs> getting out of breath already with these, um, Sergio Fernandez, David Dutchman, Paul Ocock, Sean Dempsey, Ollie, Stephen Skillen, The Robbie, Matt Marine Eng, Carl Robson, Electrician TV, Liberato Del Greco, Electric Life, Jolly Fan Quality, and James Kane. Do you want to do the new members? I'll do. We'll see if I can get this bit right then, shall we? <laughs> oh, here we go. <laughs> we've got some new members here. So we've got Socket Zio. So I wonder who that is then. Eh? <laughs> I know there were a message that went out earlier saying that someone was in Mexico. Um, we've got Brooke Turner, Shark Shark, Fergus. Yay. Shout <laughs> <laughs> out. Uh, Gravy 899, TTM Electrical, um, Carl E. Oh, here we go. We've got some more here. Sean, Gary, Ash, Monty Television, Keith, Nick, Hubbard, Lydon Powell, Alice, is it Chattel? Toby, <laughs> Toby, for stop laughing at me. It's not easy, this. <laughs> Moving the pressure. Uh, Andy Baker, Rich in Black. Bronte Chantel and Petter Chantel. I'm sorry if I've murdered them. <laughs> and today, that is the news, and I'm off home. See you in a bit. <laughs> okay. Two weeks till the next live stream. I wonder if Rick will still be with us. <laughs> okay. That's brilliant. So thank you ever so much for people that are new. Okay, that's really nice to see a lot of new people. We've obviously brought your own fans as well, and friends have Family, joined us. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and obviously some returning ones in there as well. We've got some nice little exciting things at the end. We've got our outtake still to come. We've got another Tesla story, so it's not worth jumping. Oops, worth jumping out just yet. Have we got any comments, folks, that we can we can splash up on the on the wall for us on the board, so we can see what we've got some comments? Have you saved any for us, or has Gordon got a troll through him? Is it something else you've got to do? Yeah, it looks no, like we've been, has been going along. We've just been throwing them up on the uh, up on the board, and yeah. it's been answered. Okay, well, we well, we're still like best excuses for not getting paid. Yeah, absolutely. There's a prize for that best yeah. excuse for not getting paid. Yeah. Paid. So we, we've got. Oh, here we go. Here we go. So we've done that one. Yeah. 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 <laughs> it's good. Wow. It's good. We like that one though. I can go over it again if you want to. I tuned into that. Wow, yeah, I know. It's, 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 <laughs> let them have Christmas off. Yeah. This is what happens at the we got new house. Gary this year. Old Gary wanted to reappear there, didn't he? So, <laughs> as we come in. So, I'll, I'll do it. So, there's obviously that question. There is another one out there that's probably quite well promoted by yeah. influencers in our electrical industry. Yeah, discount code and all the rest of it. Yeah. 
comparison then. So they'd ask, the other way around, they'd be asking, they'd be talking about you in comparison. Yeah. Let's talk about them in comparison. So we go back to the point about cash flow and profitability. One of the key differentiators we have is that's the focus for us. You know, we're not about trying to get you to be you know, out on 10 times more jobs. We have that function in the software, which allows you to make sure on every job you're making a profit. We can drag the invoices in from the wholesalers. You can see at a whole business performance level, you know, how am I doing against, you know, my the, the goals I've set for the business, but also on an individual job basis at every stage, you know, I'm actually going to make profit on this job, which is the really important factor. So, um, you know, it's not just about scheduling jobs out and making sure people are out and doing the jobs. It's actually how is the business functioning? Do you have that clarity and control to make sure it's a success? Okay, so, and that's key to the heart of the owner yeah, because exactly. of the issues he's personally yeah. had in the past, yeah. and the educational element of that. Are we competitively with the educational element? Yes, I think. As I say, just coming from my background in education, I wouldn't see it, I wouldn't see it so much as the competitive element. I see it more as just something that we're willing to do in order to ensure that every single person that joins Fergus really has the best chance they can to create the best business. And that's, you know, that's why they, they decided to start their own business, you know, why they decided to go self-employed in the first place. And it's just as I say, finding out if you're fantastic at your trade, which I'm, you know, I'm assuming most people who start off on their own are, how can we help you to become even better from the business side of things? Sometimes it's just understanding, as we yeah. mentioned, you know, your gross profits, anything like that that you might need to know. It's, it's just those really important fundamentals it wants to yeah. teach you. And again, comparing it to the well-known competitor, do they offer free webinars like you do? Is that something that we can access from them? I in, in terms of business coaching, no, no. It's definitely, <laughs> it's definitely something that we, you know, we differentiate ourselves on. So you know, we want to help you become more effective at running your business. And right. going back to the you know, college students, for example, you know, if you go through an electrical training course, do they sort of mention profit and stuff? It's, you know, it's a subject which isn't discussed. So you, know, you can end up out on your job you know 10 years later you go and work for yourself and it's training that you haven't had so you know we're providing it free of charge you know not just for customers but we want to help you upskill in that area okay you you mentioned that word then you said i didn't mention it yeah, okay. <laughs> so, so, so coming down the line quite some, sometime in 2023 there'll be something that apprentice can access exactly yeah it's actually going to be and it's one of those things we say don't we yeah you know you, you leave school or you retrain and you say i want to be an electrician yeah. and no point do you say i want to run a business yeah, yeah. and that business yeah. means i'm going to train first of all to be an electrician yeah. But, you know, it goes back to sort of the, it's a big change, isn't it, from pen and paper. We want to reduce that hurdle. We want to reduce that gap. We want to make it as easy as possible for anyone that wants to go on that journey. But the people that obviously, you know, I can see what you're doing. The people that are at college or training, yeah. they're very au fait. With, exactly. You know, yeah, yeah. They don't like pen and paper. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Because they've gone into a trade, they yeah. like pen and paper even less. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Oh, okay. I like it. That's yeah. good. Yeah, that's good. So, so that's your counter argument to if yeah. there was somebody out there that did something similar. Yeah, exactly. Okay, that's good. Mm -hmm. no, I think I'm, I'm, oh yes, so we've got some screenshots. Oh, yes. Let's have a look there. Yeah. So let's see. So this is this what? So is this the red? Yeah. So this goes back. Green? You know, we were founded by Dan, who's a plumber. We wanted to keep the system as super simple. Shh. You know, the plumber. I know. <laughs> we'll, we'll, we probably won't be invited back. Um, but so really simply colour coded, you know, what are the important things I need to be looking at? I can see very quickly where everything's at, colour coded in the system. What are the elements I need to focus on? I've got some red in my pricing, so I'm a bit red in pricing. Tell me. So, I'm worried. I've seen red. Yeah, so that's the bit where I'm a bit behind. I've not gone out. I've not priced up these jobs yet to be able to send a quote out. Right. So I need to jump in that so the customer can go out and see, you know, so that's your pending. Is yeah. That, what's pending? Is that a pending? You know, I've created the job in the system. I've not actually started to do any work on it. Right. Okay. Going to move it through, and every job moves through this this system. So you go from pricing into scheduling. Um, I'm actually then out on the job. You know, I'm working it. I'm back costing it. So I'm actually taking everything I've used from the wholesaler, making sure I get the invoice into the system, putting the cost back onto the specific job. Um, when that's all done, I get the invoice out and ultimately, you know, which I think we're talking about today a bit as well as that payment section, you know, what's out for payment. And you can see very quickly at the bottom, the actual funds, are, you know, the monetary up. I can see the money on the table. Exactly. Yeah, I can see exactly. the money on the yeah. table. So you can yeah. see very quickly in the invoicing element here, you know, I've got, if I can get those invoices out quicker, that's an extra 8,000, you know, 700 I could have available. Wow. Mm -hmm. so, right, so they're invoices that haven't gone out. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah, there's no green there, is there? Yeah. 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 Who's running this business? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> exactly. Yeah. 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 See you ready. <laughs> so once the job's created, you know, you can see your team, you can schedule them out, you can see where they are. Um, something else that Dan's very sort of, you know, keen on is making sure, you know, if you've got someone working for you for the day, uh, are they using all their hours? So you can see this quite very, you know, simply at a high level. Where are my people? What jobs can they go on? Um, I can go through and click onto those and jump into each specific job. I think if we go through, um, going out into the quote here, uh, you know, I can create the quote quite quickly and easily. The customer can accept it, so we'll send it out as an email. They can actually click on that email and say, hey, I'm ready to do this work, and then I can go out and actually send it out. I can see all the work that we've got in progress. I can see how much we, you know, we priced it for, the total that's invoiced, the cost, the total charge. Well, what was the actual margin on it? So I can see as we're going through that process, actually, is this job being profitable or not? And going back to at a high level for each job, there's a financial summary. So actually, was this job profitable? You know, did I go oh, and wow. actually make the, the money I said I was going to do on that specific job? Yeah. yeah. So you can say to yourself, I, I've got a, a series of flats to do. Yeah. I priced the first five. I won the first five. Yeah. I didn't make any money on it. Yeah. If I'm going to yeah. price for the next 10. Exactly. Wow. I like so it that. allows you to have a bit of clarity in terms of what is the work you should be going after and actually completing. You know, you can often see, you know, people chasing after a big job. They'll start to lower their price. Going, oh, it's a really big job. You know, this is the one we want to be doing. They'll start to lower their price and what they're actually doing is just eating into their margin. Mm -hmm. They'll take it on, something might change, they might use a few more bits. All of a sudden, they can actually probably be earning no money on that big job. And they could be better off doing, you know, five smaller jobs where they're going to make a bit more profit. Easy falls. Well, that's, yeah. <laughs> uh, invoice is due, so you can see very quickly, you know, uh, the invoices that you've got due. Oh. Yeah. We're and there we go. <laughs> and obviously, fully mobile friendly. So we've got a great app called Fergus Go. And it's going to allow you to do all these jobs out, on the, out in the field. So starting to allocate your time, timesheets. So as I, I punch something in onto the app, it appears also on the desktop? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Okay, that's, that's great. And it, so you've got that, yeah, you haven't got a fire at the laptop, sit in the back of the van, yeah. try and hotspot it, you can just do it all off your yeah. phone. And we've made the app to be super friendly. So, you know, it's not the full featured Fergus. We don't want to give you every feature in your phone because it's quite hard to use, you know, every little nook and cranny of, you know, the app. So it's really focusing about the jobs you need to do out in the field. What are the things you need to be doing when you're on site with a customer and really focusing on those? Okay, and the free apprentice version that you haven't talked about and you're not going to release in 2023, will that have an app with it? Exactly. It's, it's, okay. yeah. if, if there was one, yeah. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. One. If we went that direction, well, then so there would be something. Not, not that we are or we're not. But yeah. Again, that just gives them a chance to have a play yeah. around with exactly. what they've done. Yeah. yeah, and still, you know, free trial obviously is still available. So if they did want to go and have a look at it, uh, jump in. And then when, yeah. they, when they get that first job, take it to your employer and say, hey, why are you doing it the hard way? And the 14 day free trials for everybody. Yeah. Absolutely everybody, yeah. And if I did decide to do it, I only need to, I can cancel after a month. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, so there's no Really nice no and simple. Okay. No, absolutely yeah. no tie-in. Okay, right, we've got a video coming up, on it. we've got to have a delve into it, yeah? Yeah, so I think tests, yeah. uh, existing data, there's... The... I'm sorry. Oh. <laughs> I thought you meant an asset. Yeah. I was thinking, <laughs> I have not got any idea what that is. <laughs> so we're going to, yeah, we're going to be looking at ourselves, aren't we? Yeah, yeah. yeah absolutely. We'll find the contract and go on. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. We'll, we'll have a little think. Well, we'll, we might give it to Marcus to have a try. Yeah, can do. Sharpen his emails for one. <laughs> <laughs> I think we've got a good, good question that's coming about, is there any demo site for Fergus? Um, so there's two options here. One, free trial has data in it. So you click it, no obligation. You can start to see some free data. 14-day trial. Exactly. Fix 50% discount. Exactly. You can put your own jobs in there. Have a play around. Add users. A full fat version of Fergus. There's no restrictions. Go in there and use it and make sure you love it. Alternatively, at the top of our website, which you might not be able to see in that camera, there's a little book a demo option. Click on that. Schedule the time that's convenient for you. Uh, and we'll get someone on the team to run it through for you. I was pointed at the wrong one. <laughs> Free trial, book a demo. There we go, look at this. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> that might take a while. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> a bit of sockets coming in instead. Oh, another mistake. Yeah, yeah. and, and, and there's, I think there's another great question about editing jobs, so adding in extras as the customer gets you to job. Yeah, exactly. So you can still go in through that. At any stage, you can edit it. You, know, you could send out additional quotes, etc. But making sure, going back to that premise, you're actually charging customers for, for the items that they're using. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and, and in my experience, I know it was a long time ago, there, we, we did loads of stuff with stuff off the back of the van, yeah. and that's the one that got me. So it's always the these... electricity board going. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we might have had vans at weekends that were, we were working off back of vans at weekends, yeah. maybe. Uh, how long do you have to do before you get chased back by? <laughs> yeah. I think I'm, years, saying, yeah, yeah. I'm okay then, because yeah. on that. Yeah. But again, the amount of times we've, we, you know, you'd do it, wouldn't you? Can you just do, yeah. and because you've got a van full of stuff, yeah. you, you, you're thinking it's free. 
And yeah, yeah, but yeah, it isn't, is it? Yeah, exactly. yeah, and that was the one that got me early on. That was the sinking in moment yeah. for me, the amount of money you're giving away just to be a nice person. Yeah. Where you, yeah, okay. Yeah. That's, that's, yeah. So does it, yeah, so someone's asking on yeah, Luckins and Ludkins are the same thing, so. Yeah. That could be a. S stay, stay tuned, Let's, we'll, yeah. we'll, we'll get back to you on that one. Okay, that's good. Hopefully the boys have been looking through the great uh, reasons why we didn't get paid, or the Tom Bickerton's won it otherwise, hasn't he? <laughs> yeah. As we've gone through, because he's came through on Instagram for us oh, when we started. Marcus is in. He oh, is he? Oh, he wants to have a go on the <laughs> software. So he's yeah. this, uh... And he will though, that's the thing. That, yeah. that kid, he has a go at anything. He yeah. is not frightened by technology. He'll give it a go, we'll, he'll, he'll come we'll, back. We'll get him in. Yeah, yeah. But, yeah. but again, he's great for you know, honest, honest feedback yeah. as well. He's that's done that with some of our products, haven't we? Yeah. We've, we've said, you know, if we're doing a review, we give it to Marcus. And one, it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and he'll come back and say, "We'll, we'll uh, skip, we'll skip that bit." Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. Again, if you want to see me, and Marcus, just another plug in case you want to join us for another live stream. We're coming live on Monday uh, from St Neots College at twelve thirty, and now all electricians and trainees are welcome in order to help us out in the comments. That'll be really good. So we've got a couple of things down here still to go, Gordon. What, where do you want to go next before we go for one of these? Where well, is on your list, Gary? Oh, I look down at my list, and it just says there. Uh, Tesla stories. Oh, I'm not sure. <laughs> that one. Now, do you know any other Tesla owners? Uh, yes, I do. Yeah, <laughs> I do. Yeah. Yeah. James, James, James has got a Tesla. Have you, James? Uh, yeah, I do. Yes. Are you new to a Tesla ownership? About a year we've had it. Yeah. Oh, so it's always broken. Uh, not not to date. Just trying to find the touch has, it, has, it, has it give you any issues at all? No, I got one minor software issue, which I think you know, a few door opening and closing sequences, it managed to sort of spring back to life. The car stopped working because the computer said no. Uh, yeah, something along those lines. Yeah, it's going to take a while for me to get over that line. I think <laughs> when I get to it and he's decided to firmware down himself. <laughs> yeah, that's great. So, test the story. So, I'm not, I'm not going to I'm not going to word this one in. We're going to need to be nice and quiet. I'm going to cut over to our good friend Nick Ramo and see what he has to say. Hi Gary, I've got a little Tesla story for you on Gordon's Tesla. Now as you know, I'm currently selling Gordon's Tesla and you've run out of content to talk about Tesla time and things that have gone wrong. However, went into Gordon's Tesla and put it into reverse and we have a problem which was we have no rear camera, which explains why he hit your van. Oh dear. Ah, so, um, Tesla comes with a rear view camera then, does it Gordon? Uh, so if it was a large, say, Ford Transit van in red parked, what, I don't know, three, three foot four, behind the car. It wasn't three foot, but you, you and three foot behind the car. There was <laughs> several, you got up to a fair lick before you stopped. So the camera's not working on it. All right. Did you know it wasn't working? You've sold him a pup. Yeah, that's like the biggest lemon in the, the car motor industry at the moment, isn't it? Anyone gets a second-hand Tesla off uh, Nick Ramos in a world of trouble, aren't they? Oh. So the camera doesn't work. Oh, well, there you go. Are you going to fess up? What? Did you know it weren't working when you palmed it off on him? Yeah, it was working when I took it down there. <laughs> Fire beware. <laughs> That's worse. Yeah. <laughs> it's failed since he's got it. Yeah. So no one's driven it anywhere, just put it on a forecourt. Yeah. He's gone out to test drive it with someone yeah. and the camera's failed before test driving. Yeah. Wow, if that is not a sign, that'll be one of those moments they'll look back at it and say, we fell in love with that Tesla. We wanted to go green. <laughs> we wanted to save the planet. We, we invested in Elon, okay? We went there. We didn't buy new. We saved the VAT or whatever they would have put on it at the start if there was any taxes, because remember, they almost gave them away for free at the start, but we got the one that Gordon owned. Yeah. World of trouble. Oh, no. World of trouble. <laughs> Shocking. That should be it. Surely this is the fine. Surely Nick will be able to palm it off on someone and they, they, they go off into the sunset, not for very long before it breaks, and they won't be back again. Does he leave a, does he have a bit of a guarantee on the back of his? He's got a three or six month warranty on it? Three hours. <laughs> <laughs> Just the, the three claims. The thing yeah. was, yeah, before I took it down there, I had the front suspension done. I know, it was squeaking, wasn't it? Yeah. So I thought I'm not going to sell it as a rattle. So I had to have it done like Tesla, and I did do it. So. And um, what did that, so we've talked about money, but you know, Fergus have come up with a cost. Well, it was only it. 300 quid. Only 300 quid. You had a year's worth of membership to Fergus for that. Yeah, well, there you yeah. go. Okay. Think of the, yeah. Got to start doing jobs at the weekend. <laughs> yeah. so we've got a good reason for, uh, for not paying the bill. Yeah, we've got this one right. Cool. Best reason, first world problem, this one, Gary. Best reason for not being paid for six months, we were sailing the boat around the world and didn't have internet access. Wow. <laughs> yeah. It'd be a nice violin out and <laughs> feel sorry oh, for yeah. them. I know, yeah. It depends on how much they owe you. You'd probably, yeah. you'd probably want that as a story, wouldn't yeah. you? you know, yeah. But if it was many thousands, you wouldn't. So yeah. they didn't realise before they left. 
Okay, yeah. that's I'm a suggestion if you're sailing your boat around the world, it's not a dinghy. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, won't row in it either. So, yeah. Um, yeah, so that's, that's good. So we got the, the cash blew out of his pocket on the way to pay. We've got traveling around the world. Yeah, we've got the, um, what was it, the bank card got stolen or something, wasn't it? And he got a new one that didn't pay in time for yeah. Marcus. Keep him coming in. So we've got plenty of times. So next thing I just want to mention before we go to our funny segment, which is our new segment, which is called... Caught off camera. Caught off camera. Heard it somewhere before. Can't remember where I read that, but I think I read it somewhere before. Something similar to that, but uh, not caught off camera. But we've got our own segment now, caught off camera. It's new today, but however, let's think about the EFIX Awards. We're in the last uh, last chance to nominate, aren't we? We're into January, the end of January, the awards will close. Okay, the link is in the description, is it not, Gordon? It is, yeah. Yeah, so again, if you want to nominate your own business, you want to nominate a specialism within business, maybe EV, industrial, commercial, look at the list. You can nominate yourself or somebody else. You can certainly nominate someone you believe is making a fantastic effort within our industry because we're all about celebrating the greats. So in other words, you might be able to find someone who's under the age of 30 and is showing fantastic entrepreneurism or maybe they're taking on new challenges or developing themselves within a business and climbing that ladder very quickly and you can nominate those or you can nominate yourself. Okay, if you feel that you've reached those criteria as well. We've also got college lecturer and um, training provider of the year. We've also got wholesaler of the year, which I think is one of those ones where you can give a pack to your local wholesaler. It doesn't have to be an independent, it can be your local branch of, insert name here, it won't be the whole uh, com company that you'll be nominating for that award. Sounds like the one down the road you're on about. Yeah, actually. They're yeah, in as well. Yeah. Then. <laughs> I mean, I've, I've seen some of the entries because obviously I can get a peek into the system and there's some, uh, yeah, some, there's some, Hopefully, obviously they haven't won yet. <laughs> entries, but there's some uh, there's some great candidates. I just just like to say for the system, it won't be what Gordon wants to win either. No, it's not. There's a whole no, no, panel no. of people that can be seen on LinkedIn. Can't oh we? yeah. Industry greats. Have yeah. we got anyone from the IET on we there? We have. We've got Mark Coles on yeah, there. Yeah, Mark Coles who joined us from the IET. Yeah. yeah. So there's lots of the great and the good. So yeah, we don't pick the winners. They pick the winners. But uh, there's some good winners. There's some good potential winners for them to pick from. <laughs> well, that was a fr say, funny slip, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah. <laughs> Someone's got to win. People often say, oh, I never win awards. I say, do you actually enter? Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Soften the link. And there isn't many, many awards, I think, out there that I can think of off the top of my head that you have 30 chances of coming first. There's no race in that, is there? I've got 30 chances of being a 30 under 30 winner. Yeah. You know, that's 30 <laughs> opportunities to win one prize, okay, which is great. So do the odds, okay, imagine the number and how many people enter. You've uh, thinned your odds yeah. down. Princess Sparky's been pushing it on Instagram for us, as you know, how pleased she was to win her awards. It is, and the people we've been out with this year. Colin Mulvaney won one. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's where we source our sort of people we want to work with <laughs> come off that list. Yeah, yeah, we look through it, don't we, and we try yeah. and get out. And it doesn't mean if you've won a 30 and a 30 award, you know, Theo Webster, we, you know, we came down and we, we did a video and we haven't seen an install. It isn't because we don't want to. Sometimes it's you haven't got the work or the how close you are. Oh, yes, I love this one. We're going to try and get a sticker for this. Now, I really <laughs> would love a sticker for this. I'm going to be the goat, okay? Yeah, and we can all say what we think it says, but we can clearly see under there, grey old age teacher, the goat. So when I'm at these colleges, there would be nothing better <laughs> than the students grasping the goat sticker. Okay, as we go. I'm just waiting for the team to design it here. I think Junior's going to be on it here. JR's going to design me one, and there will be a goat sticker. Good stickers have gone quiet in the last, what, 12 months, haven't they? Yeah, sticker swap yeah, and all the rest of it. Doing stickers. Yeah, there isn't so many stickers out there that, uh, you yeah, know, there isn't any great stickers out there that, uh, I can't think of any off the top of me. I'll tell you what, what is missing is maybe the goat. Maybe we need a sticker <laughs> of the goat. Send in your drawings for Gary the goat. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> see them. Yeah, it's, uh, it's, I love it. That's good. So if we're talking about um, the goat, there's only one way to, to sort of second that, I think, with yeah. a, a few outtakes. Yeah, a few outtakes. One of the, other, the common ones for not getting paid. I thought my other half was dealing with that one. Oh, right, OK. Yeah. You know, don't speak to him. My banking app, after about 4.30, 5 o'clock every day in the week, my banking app wakes up. Okay? <laughs> so I know my wife's like out of work, which is always nice. Okay. I used to have a list of the excuses, actually. I'll have to and find me all the excuse lists. <laughs> it's like, yeah. you know, that would be, thought me that, that's number 12, you know. Well, but, you, 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 well you, checks lost in the post. Obviously, not many people pay my check anymore, but that was always a classic one. Finance director's on holiday. He can't sign the check. There's only one person in the business needs two. And they're on holiday. Yeah, they're yeah. on holiday. You need to count the signing by person. Yeah. They're on holiday. Yeah, yeah you yeah. missed the check run. You missed yeah. the cut-off day. You missed, yeah, so it's all the... Uh, yeah, yeah, bank holiday. Mm. But you, you said, and depending on the sound, you said you got refused after, was it 60 or 90 days because you've put the wrong postcode in? 
Uh, yeah, GE, so General Electric, world's biggest company, the sun's biggest <laughs> engineering company. So they had a uh, yeah, 90 day payment terms. Yeah, so obviously it gets the 90 days, where's the money? Right, and you start chasing the money. And then you start reading, oh, we'll have to, oh, no, your invoice hasn't been put through for processing. Oh, why is that? Oh, postcode's wrong. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so after 90 days, you find out. Not when you put the invoice in, you only start producing excuses 90 days in. And if your business was thinking of taking on at the time the biggest company in the world, you're probably going to struggle a little bit maybe to get them to small claims court. Uh, no, I mean, anyone can do it. I mean, the problem is people GE, realize, things we, we, don't normally go to court. There's a, there's a, you know, it's very rare. But again, it comes back to that financial stress. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Taking yeah. anybody to court is a very time-consuming process. Yeah. And it's quite stressed. So you've got to weigh up your time doing the things you like doing versus spending time on what is not a nice process. Yeah. It's slick. I would say run your process. You know, yeah. you've said you're going to get paid in 30 days. If you haven't been paid in 30 days, chase it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And keep chasing it and get the excuse, why haven't I been paid? Because people have to give you a reason why I haven't been paid. Yeah. Because if it did go to court and they suddenly spilled out on the day all the reasons, mm. they wouldn't, they wouldn't, they'd struggle to win. And on small, smaller jobs, people are asking for money up front normally to cover materials. You start doing a massive refurbishment. You know, you're at the Trafford Centre like you have been in the past. No one's paying you up front, are they? You ain't getting a, an in there. You're going to have to be invoicing on time and getting paid, aren't you? Yeah. And that comes back to the builder. That's another one you linked in earlier on. Yeah. And perhaps the thing we'll probably look at in a different live stream is negotiating with your supply chain. Okay. Which is great. I love doing that. That's a, that's a, yeah. If you've won a big bit of business compared to what you'd usually do, there's a chance to negotiate with people. Okay. That makes sense. So that could be, let's make it simple. You know, you've got, you, you, you've won that, that housing estate we talked about earlier on. You've got many properties do rather than the fives that you normally do. You've got a big one. You go in your wholesale. You're almost happy for them, aren't you? Oh, you'll never believe yeah. I won this massive contract and, you, and you, you're not even negotiating, are you? Yeah, rather than yeah. going in, we need to sit down. We've got a different animal on there. Mm. I've won a massive contract. I want a better deal. You're almost, you're almost giving them the gratification, aren't you? Oh, they're yeah. thinking, oh dear. And not just price. You can negotiate lots of things, you know, payment terms. Terms, so push the time, you know, there's, there's lots of, you know. So, so if you get squeezed in the chain, you change your terms to meet the squeeze you're feeling, is that what you're thinking? So you might squeeze the wholesaler from 60 to 90 days. 60 to 90 yours. or credit limit, oh, credit right. limit's important. Yeah. So there's all sorts of things you that's, can negotiate. That's a good follow up, that'll be. Yeah, yeah, yeah so yeah. that'll be. A, Just need the yeah, right people on there. 10 lessons to negotiate. <laughs> that's a, yeah, don't get salamied. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I don't know whether on that note we're going to see some of the caught off cameras, okay, that we've been doing recently. New segment, hopefully we'll improve it as we go, but let's see what we've been up to. The combined electrical tester is embraced within the multifunction tester. I've got them here from Mattrell. Wouldn't it be great to combine all of these together? The BT MI513674 <laughs> MI tester comes with them. Until I can overcome the issue maybe with a Cuban heel on my steel toe cap boots, it's the wood that's helping lift me up. Dip again though, aren't I? <laughs> I mean, you can feel it, you can actually feel how low there is. Little Gary. Oh, little Gary. <laughs> One of the first interactions with any business is often the customer service call center. And we leave that responsibility to Gordon. Let's go. Answer it. Hello. Hi, okay. Yeah. As I take a look at the energy label of the lamp we've used in this video, I see it's rated at energy rating. What are you doing? Nothing more disappointing, is there? You nurture, you mentor, you encourage members of staff, and the minute your back's turned, they're offering themselves out for other jobs. So you're looking for a new apprentice then, eh? What are you doing down there, Ross? <laughs> Escaping. Hmm, not the response Rick was hoping for. I'm a little bit unsure, but I need to check in with our resident meteorologist to get the answer. Well, welcome to sunny Scotland. And we've had, hold on, I'll go again. Well, go again, one minute. Uh, <laughs> you said it was going to be sunny up here. I know. <laughs> That's so sunny. <laughs> That's a spirit, Gordon. When the weather doesn't meet your high expectations, blame Colin. We do love our trivia down here at Lineside Studios, TV shows from the early 80s, and our favourite guest presenter. Rick, any chance of giving us a clue? Take it. That is not the best start we've not ever had. It's the first <laughs> word. Okay, first, just syllable. Want to say, first word, first syllable. Wrong. <laughs> Sounds like wrong. <laughs> yeah. Okay, yeah. Wow. Yeah, he's gone now. Any old, um, where was the bloke that was on here? The, the, 
actor. He, what's his name? Lionel Blair. Yeah, he lived to ripe old age, didn't he? Lionel. Well, there you go. Lionel. There you go. Keep that one. Talk, <laughs> talking to Lionel Blair, isn't that for nightmare? You just had a nightmare start, didn't you? <laughs> the Lionel Blair there, folks. I like that. Yeah, we'll keep that one. I like the idea of keeping that one. Keep I'll that keep one. that one for tonight's live stream. It's a keeper. Well, we're certainly going to be more proactive about keeping those. <laughs> we only had a few. I went over Christmas. I went through and slimmed all our stuff down. That's all I had left. Every single one we had, we had something that was usable in there, didn't we? Yeah. And then you had the one that we couldn't find the right outtake on when we were talking about the... Uh... Motionlessness. Mm. But, yeah, yeah, it took a few takes, didn't it, to get to that stage? Yeah, there were so many takes, I had to clear the iPad out, there were so many. It was like motionlessness. -ness. Yeah, and even the one that went in, I thought was almost it's, an out. It was a stretch, yeah. it was like, I'd done it that many times, I'd lost all saliva in my throat. It was just, no, I couldn't, motionlessness. -ness. Yeah, yeah. -ness. That's, yeah. So watch out for that, it's coming out on Saturday. It's the, it's the smart shirt, the Andrew's smart shirt, that will detect. Motionlessness. Yes, will it? Okay, that's good. I'm glad you cleared that up for me. So again, this is hopefully a segment that we're going to bring out. It, it, could it be every two weeks? It could be. Obviously, we're experimenting with things like sound and pictures at the moment, and then we'll experiment with different segments as we move forward. So yeah, that's uh, exciting stuff, isn't it? But I think we've put the Tesla to, to bed now, and we? I think we're going to have to move on from that. Hopefully Nick can sell it. Yeah, if it, well, no, it's the biggest lemon in the car industry, that one is. Okay. So, again, we've uh, got any decent comments? Any more people going to challenge? Uh, We're Mr. an hour and a half in. Right, okay. So, at this stage, then, it's always wise for us to remember to thank the great people that allow us to bring together these live streams. People like the Lasico Group, yep. and Marshall Tuflex, yep. Vargo, yep. and the Luden Palazzolas. And of course, Doncaster Cow. Yeah, I was going to leave that one because it's a long one. You always forget that one. <laughs> so I'd like to thank these people for helping us as we go through. We've still forgotten one, and I don't think you're going to remember it. What? My energy. Oh, yeah. yeah. See, caught it out of the corner of your eye. So well done. So my energy as well. So fantastic. The, you know, we saw the new Libby. We expect that to make a big splash, don't we, in 2023? I'm going to see Dr. Chris. Okay. Last time we went to see him, I think about a quarter of a million people watched you see Dr. Chris. Yeah, that, that, was, that was a surprise, huh? What two grey old men sitting down at a table? There you go. <laughs> or as we call it, in. live streams. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, so what's it, what's it this time? Can you give us a sneak into We're what? We're going to have a look into the Libby. So obviously that's a much anticipated product for them. Uh, and obviously I've got a home for one because that solves a problem for me. Where I want to put the batteries, no any other meter towns. Well, yeah, I've, got the, I've got the same, same problem at my house. So yeah, it's the next one. <laughs> <laughs> I'll fix that problem for you, cable put. I've had a wooden wall in my downstairs toilet ready for my battery uh, solar solution, I think now for nine months. Uh, some, somebody mentions it in my house yeah. regularly. Yeah, yeah, because our downstairs toilet doesn't look like it used to look like. It's now got a wooden wall ready for it. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Now we'll have the Gary's battery stories now. Yeah, we will do. Yeah, we can, I, I can sit in there and I can wax for hours about my wooden wall in my downstairs closet. Um, that's it. it's, it's all good, yeah, so uh, we're, we're there. So we thank everyone who's come in, so Gordon's scouring through those comments. Are you going to give away a prize? Who's going to win the comment oh, prize? If Monty's back in, we'll close out on Monty. I think we'll give him a prize. I think he okay. has the prize, actually. How does he get his prize? Tell me that. He'll have to go and get involved below, put his address in. It, link in the description? In the link in the description. Get involved. Get involved tab. You've won something. You've won something. Put your yeah. details in. Hmm? GT tab. Oh, we've got a GT tab. Well, hold on, we'll just deal with Monty first, because he's got one. He needs to sort himself out on invoicing and paperwork. I dub jobs and take ages to invoice. 2,700 owed by a block of flats for a CCTV system. I've not been paid because it's not been invoiced from October. There you go. Wow. Mm. Key to getting paid is to yeah. send the invoice. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so. That's the. Uh, Everyone's keen to have the work done. The electrician's yeah. keen to do the work. They love to do the work. Customers keen to see the work being done because they've got an improvement. And then the payment seems to be nobody's bothered about. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. So we're going to send Monty. Our prize, yeah. So yeah, yeah. newly involved tonight. He said he was new in. It might be a, a script thing on the, the, the code that we're running, but we're going to send you a prize. Get involved tab, fill it in, and we'll send you something off the table. And we'll go back to the guys, and they will give us the GT winner. Is that all right? Come back in, boys. Yeah, so GT winner. Me and Nick have been totting up in the background. Um, the combined time was 13 minutes, 44 seconds, and the closest was Thomas Kearns with 15 minutes. Oh. So again, if you just go to the link in the description, get involved tab. Fill it out and we'll get it sent over to you as soon as possible. How, how quickly will that come to us? Hopefully a bit quicker this year, so it might be. A... <laughs> We're all new guest resolutions. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it's resolution, so it's not going to be 28 days, it's now going to be 27. <laughs> <laughs> 
we're historically slow at sending stuff out. Feel free to give us a nudge when your 28 days is out. However, if you automate your software, you'll be able to send us a reminder, won't you, exactly. to say that yeah. 28 days is gone. Yeah. Good. And we have got a new member of the team who we'll have to introduce to the community at some point. We will do. Yeah. yeah. We've uh, got yeah. a new member. Are you not even going to reveal the name? Surprise for her. Surpri oh, surprise <laughs> for her. <laughs> yeah, we just said that. So yeah. Say, yeah, it will be. So thank you ever so much for joining us. We're back again in two weeks, okay? We will set a, a theme for it. We're gonna try and set them in advance. That's another thing we're gonna suggest we're gonna do moving into 2023 is give you a lot of notice of what we're gonna be doing. So it means we can go bring great guests in like Fergus, yeah. okay? And they can talk about the subject that we are currently working on that live stream in. Remember, the link is in the description. Oh, the names okay. popping yeah. in the yeah. yes. They're rescuing yeah. themselves. <laughs> famous. Fantastic. Wow. So link is in the description if you want to, uh, Check out the app, okay? We're in there. We've also yep. got the website. We've got that free trial, 14 days. We can do. We're um, going to be checking it out. Sounds like Marcus yep. is Give the one it for a, a hit. Yeah. You're yeah. going to love uh, it. Yeah. And, and, and as I say, anyone, any topics you want us to look at, as I say, between us all, between the extended team, between the people we talk to, we can always drag people in for any topic. Yeah. Uh, a few of the ones we've put out there in our meeting this week. One was asbestos, was a, was a thing we get asked a lot yep. about. Uh, say negotiating skills. I love a bit of negotiating. Oh, so there's, some, there's some, there's some, yeah. Yeah. So reach out to us is what we're saying. Yeah. If there's some topics out there you're really, we can't guarantee, and what's always frustrating is it, somebody gives us an idea, which we also think is a great idea, and then we don't complete that idea. It's, it's, it's a number of reasons. If you don't tell us, obviously we can't obviously chase that one down. I think asbestos would be a good one. But a little bit different as well, when if you get the right people in, Okay, yeah. we can really get that. To we can normally people. find the right people. Yeah. Okay. Just sometimes, so. yeah. And I say we, we even have the esteemed IET. We are holding back their race wall. For oh, I didn't know. Are we going to miss that? People have looked at that wall and gone, <laughs> yeah. "I'm going to get the times of the IET." <laughs> They're not up there. We've also got a, a female special when we want to pull that one out of the bag as well. Okay. Well, obviously, you've done it today, so you'll be very keen to see where those ladies come in relationship to your. I'm time. kind of. I feel like I I, I set the bar low to allow other women to achieve uh, is what is, is I'd you. put Very it. Very honourable of you. <laughs> you know, I say the same thing when I go to CrossFit. Yeah. <laughs> come here, guys. I come here, guys, to make you lot look better. Yeah, you know, someone's got to take it. Yeah. I'm, I'm good I'm, at I'm it. here. <laughs> got a funny feeling you'll want to tune in. <laughs> <laughs> As we move forward. Okay, so that's it. So we're back again in two weeks. We're all cleared up. We've done our thank yous. Thank you, James, for joining us. Thanks, no. Katie, for joining us. Thank you for having us. Hopefully you'll share it out on social media. Yep. Yep. You'll obviously say the first part of it is obviously a silent movie. And then obviously <laughs> it kicks in after about 15 minutes. And we will be having a word with Rick once we're finished here. <laughs> You're welcome, Rick. We'll see you in two weeks.